<laughs> no. I forgot my movie plot. You did? No. I see, haven't. no, that that would see that would be a great movie. The call is not coming from inside the house. You're you're completely safe. The movie's over. And the person is just, still freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. It's. I mean, it's it's not even a call. I mean, it's a child calling you. It's just like an eight year old. It's just. Uh, it's just a crank phone call. Crank yeah, there's nothing we worried about. He he can't rip your guts out. He he's nine. Yeah, yeah. I'm just watching. And he's grounded, so he can't even leave the house. That's the best part about it. He's completely grounded. But he just hacked your crypto account, so that's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, there you go. That's the, that's the horror movie. Exactly. That, that's great. You know what, Ted? Then he can get the entire one hundred and seventy dollars yeah. that's left from my crypto investment. Exactly. One hundred and seventy dollars. I'm done a lot. It's, I was only I put like seven hundred bucks in. Oh. I, I was never going to do when Ted. When, when Ted and I were talking, <laughs> and it, it was to keep the crypto forever, right? Yeah, yeah. I still have mine. I yeah. I'm I st- down. I'm down like 65, 70 percent. But I'm thinking about, you know, adding like maybe a little more, <laughs> and just hold, just holding on to it, and just see what happens. Like I said, we don't Be- we because don't know. New crypto is invented every ten seconds, <laughs> and the old crypto, it's 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 literally, you know what it is? It's literally Leonardo DiCaprio's twenty five year old girlfriend. It's gone. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Doesn't he date like twenty four year olds? Yeah, twenty five yeah, is the yeah. Uh, is yeah the so crypto, life, yeah. crypto is a twenty five year old girl mm-hmm. to Leonardo DiCaprio. It doesn't exist. They're yeah. still running ads on TV for Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriends. That and the crypto. <laughs> both both of them will make you no money whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. It just it just totally freaks me out. Okay, um, I, I'm I'm really nervous to do this. Uh oh. But um. I was listening to the show yes last week's show today, and I had to make sure I wrote it down. Ted, and and I'm not even the only one. The people on there was a whole bunch of people on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Ted, share us your Birmingham story, please. Stop writing. Oh. Yes. Oh my God, you have no Birmingham story. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I'll tell you next time. You don't have. Wow. A Birmingham no, story. actually, you know, I, I think I was in Birmingham. In hindsight, it, it was Huntsville, Alabama, <laughs> and uh, I think I it was, was just in Birmingham. It was just, it was just for real. It was. Uh, do you have a story that? Do, do they have the story posted somewhere about what Ted did? Uh, it was a bowling. <laughs> we it was stopped at a, a really table. cool bar called the Social Kitchen. Were there any pictures of Ted anywhere? All any over. mentions everywhere. <laughs> Actually, I do remember. Most wanted. I do remember my Alabama story. So, long story short, you know, the South is very hospitable, and I think I had shrimp and grits. You know, which is kind of standard out there. It's good stuff. And I just remember, I think we went to some bar at like ten in the morning and started playing shuffleboard and about. Eight pitchers of beer, and we had to bowl at like four o'clock that afternoon. And yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of beer that day. Wait, <laughs> this is the story. That's what I. That's what people were anticipating. That that's it. Are you shitting me right now? Well, actually, there was a l- little bit of a hullabaloo. I think one of my buddies, uh, unfortunately, when he got a couple of drinks in him, he because uh, we were, you know, it, it it got out of control playing the shuffleboard. You know, you, you know, you get like hyper focused on something. So he put his somebody put their glass down on the <laughs> shuffleboard. <laughs> They put their glass down on the shuffleboard, and he slid the little metal puck into the glass, and I think it broke the glass. And you know, and I'm like, I don't want to get into a bar fight before we have to get into a bowling match. And those, you know, local guys look pretty, you know, they look like they're not messing around. So that is quite literally <laughs> the worst story. I, I, I honestly, I would imagine the most boring man in the world <laughs> that we had on a couple weeks ago would. Tell, he's probably laughing right now. He's probably listening. He's just like, oh, it's hilarious. Oh you should have made. You should have made well, something. What, what up. did you think it was going to say? Was it was like we robbed a liquor store or something. You should have made something up. There was anticipation by the listeners, and you just yeah. let everyone down. Oh, Mark, I, I, Mark I, I tell I'm me, glad we started. The I show thought it was a nothing burger. Yeah, no shit. I thought no, it was I, just a nothing burger. Yeah. No, you didn't. He make a big deal out of it. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you. I, and I was like, well, tell it. I'll tell it. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Well, just because I started laughing. Just because I just because I just because I said he was going to tell you at the bar afterwards. We didn't go to the bar. I didn't go to the bar. Or we did go no, to the bar. No, we played bags. Oh, we, we played, played bags. bags. Yeah, okay. oh, we don't Which is like a bar. Yeah. We don't want to talk about that. That was that was horrible. You know what? You know what Ted can't do? Throw something underhand and no. make it land in the place it's supposed. He bowls to. underhand, and it doesn't go in the place he wants it to. <laughs> <laughs> I I hit the little cornhole part of the board a couple of times, and you know, but it's a tough game. You know, it it wasn't it wasn't for everybody. Oh, else. Well, it was just, not for everybody. I just, just tried again. I a second crack at it. So. All right, um, this is kind of weird to me. And I just found this out like an hour ago, but I thought it was really cool. Um, way back in 2015, a guy killed his stepfather. So that's what, like eight, 10 years ago almost, right? Okay. No big deal. He, he <laughs> killed there's, there's him. No, there's no statute of limitations. Well, I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's it, no, he's no, in, he's no in prison. Oh, okay. 30 years. 30 uh, years he's in prison. It's all good. Yeah. It's how he killed his stepfather that absolutely blew my mind. And what came afterwards that freaked me out. He, he killed his stepfather by giving him, are you ready? An atomic wedgie. 
What? <laughs> at the top of the stairs. N- no. No? No. So he, uh, do you know at, what at the Grand Canyon? At the Grand Canyon. What? No, it was at his house. What do you mean at the Grand Canyon? Well, then he would have fallen to his death. Right. Otherwise, how do you die from getting an to... atomic wedgie? So you know what an atomic wedgie is, right? I'm not exa- I've heard of it, but why don't you, why don't you, why don't you enlighten okay. us? Okay, so obviously a wedgie is you grab somebody's underwear yeah. and you yank it up. Right. Atomic an atomic is wedgie just... is you take the band of the underwear yeah. and you put it over the guy's head. That, oh. That's some long underwear. <laughs> it's some well, very elastic. I, I mean, you, you, yeah. This I guess. might be the seventies. Those must be those tidy no, whiteies no, that are. Like you know? eight, <laughs> this is like <laughs> seven, eight years ago yeah. that he did this, right? And okay. so I guess what happened is the guys, <laughs> the guys' underwear uh, got around his neck, and and he and he strangled to death. He actually literally oh choked to death. Oh my god! Yeah, right there. Did, okay. did he mean to do that? Well, he didn't. He said he didn't mean to do it, but he said his, his stepfather was a bully and kind of a jag off, and he was just he kind of had enough, and he just wanted to embarrass him, so he just leave me alone type thing. The guy, a big guy who did it, he, he's a marine, right? And he did that to his stepdad. Um, but here's the thing: so the guy, like I said, thirty years in jail. He's got he's in jail wow. for wow. thirty. Like, so when yeah. he started struggling, why didn't he just like? Di- Help him get the underwear off his head. Well, that's head. probably... You're going to touch somebody's underwear? That's gross. He already probably, did. They're probably drinking. I'm sure there's alcohol involved. He already touched <laughs> it. He gave him a wedgie. Yeah, but there's other parts now that are all over the place. The yeah, band. I mean, that's got to be like that's a manslaughter. That's got to be like manslaughter. Because, I mean, you know, if I was his defense attorney, I'd be like, well, you know, that's kind of an impr- impractical way to try to kill somebody is being an atomic wedgie. That so, I mean, so 30 weird. years. So 30 years. I mean, people even get 30 years for first degree murder. You know, for sure. <laughs> much, I know. Much less, yeah. much yeah. less that, you know. So, yeah. so it's like he had a lousy attorney. So. It, it, he must have. But but here's the really weird part. Because well, of let's this, focus weirder on the 30 than years. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The National Institute of Health, because of this, did a literature review of the world's previous studies of, you ready for this? I'm not even messing with you, wedgie-related trauma. Okay. So they've done this, and I did not realize that this was out there. They did a whole report on wedgie-related trauma. They, they studied everything that was ever written. See, this at, is only... At, tax, this is at, only taxpayer, the, at taxpayer expense, of course. I, I of course. would imagine, <laughs> yeah. This is only the stuff that they've heard about. Well, like where they ended up at the hospital for or something, maybe, right? Yeah. Any any kind of wedgie related. Well, no, trauma. if you go to the hospital from a wedgie, you're not telling them what happened. I mean, I can imagine certain things that might happen. Well, it's like people go to the yes. hospital with something up their butt, and they don't want to tell them how they got there. That's why. <laughs> right. That's why your flange is your best friend, just like your Ted, your Ted, friend from the. Ted, <laughs> listen, when when a doctor sees that now you that would have been you got Birmingham a Snickers story. bar in your butt. <laughs> that you know what they don't Birmingham ever think? Story yeah. right there, Alabama yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, my friend. Yeah. There might be some the, deliverance. Yeah, there might be some yeah. deliverance. I'm getting a deliverance yeah. vibe. So as a, as a joke, as a joke, I was sitting on a chair completely naked, and my friend, <laughs> for, for whatever reason, put two dozen pencils down, point up, right there, <laughs> where I could just sit on it. I didn't even notice. Right. Yeah. It was so weird. Well, how many people die every year of autoerotic strangulation? It's when you're having sex and you choke. And you choke. Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> two. Two. No, the only one we know of is uh, David Carradine, right? That's the only one I've ever heard of. <laughs> well, there was rumors that Michael Hutchinson from... Um, oh, The Cure? No. That's... Not in, exa- in, in Excess? In, in Excess, or, yeah. yeah. That's how he went? Well, he hung himself, but he was naked. And I guess they thought that he died that way. But it turned out, I think it was suicide. No, I think like, he was upset over his like girlfriend. I'm like... You know. Who Hutchins? No, he was married. I think. No, yeah, I, that's I, why I, he was upset I, about no, his actually, girlfriend. Actually, actually, actually read the story. <laughs> I'm like, gee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the lead singer of a famous rock group. I mean, can't you just get a new girlfriend? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So, no offense. Well, okay, so so this whole thing, they they did all this stuff. Only been one death ever in the history of wedgies. That was that one guy. Um, one hundred percent. The humiliation rate is one hundred percent. Yeah, if you have to report Absolutely. this. Absolutely. And then I, I started doing this. So the peop, uh, some students from Baylor. University did a paper on wedgie related trauma. Oh, that's and, awesome. And and <laughs> wedgie related incidents. And and they came up with some really cool stuff. There was a principal in Montana who was suspended for 4 days for giving a student a wedgie. Okay. Yeah. It was a, 4 days. Be. So it was so a, so a, so a, so a, a, a soccer <laughs> player and I guess he didn't perform well at the he game. Been oh, fired. He, a yeah, principal he should have been fired. Somebody's fucking underwear. I, I, have, I, I listen. This is this is no. This is a while back. And then this is just last year. A teacher in Colorado was fired for threatening to give a student a wedgie. What even 
comes to a did, teacher's mind to say that. Did the kid even know what a wedgie was? Because I mean, yeah, he probably days, had to explain the whole yeah, thing. Because, yeah, because I mean, that, wedgie, wedgie, wedgie is something from like the 1980s, and it's not like something that's in the common vernacular yeah. these days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it was like happening at yeah. Northwestern. Weren't they doing wedgies oh. too? Oh man, <laughs> well, it had to be wedgies. They did a lot of everything. In, apparently, they did everything in Northwestern. But I will say this, Ted: we, we can't. You and I cannot do chess talk, but we're going to do wedgie talk. <laughs> I you just cannot I, do chess talk. I it's saw this and I just wedgie talk. wedgie talk. Wedgie talk. Okay. I mean, I, it's not my favorite thing in the world now to see, do. But well, do you I, guys I, ever play with one of those wedgie boards? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. See, when you said when you said the guy died of a wedgie, <laughs> see, when you said the guy died of a wedgie, I thought I thought you were going to say his ball sack got shoved up That's into his stomach too. and severed his like some some something type something like in, his, in his in his nut sack, hemorrhage like a hemorrhage, like a hemorrhage, sack. A hemorrhage, hemorrhage in his nut sack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, led to lactic I think that's how, acidosis. That's how, uh, like something about Mary. Led, led to that's lactic, how Houdini died, I think. Lactic acidosis. What? An atomic wedgie <laughs> ruptured his sack. I, no, he, no, he got punched. <laughs> he got punched in the stomach. Same thing. That's almost exactly the same thing. It ruptured something. Yeah. So. Okay. No. Yeah. No. That's funny. You mentioned Houdini. Remember we talked last week about people who are buried with stuff. Like we said, Gallagher was being buried with a. Uh, well, he's dead, by the way. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, tiny, Tim, tiny, Tim, yeah. Tim, tiny Tim's buried with his ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's actually, Houdini down. was buried with some letters from his girlfriend who broke up with him. <laughs> he was, he, hey, Ted, yeah, he, he was, was buried super, handcuffed. He was handcuffed in a straight jacket. <laughs> yeah. Upside down in the coffin. <laughs> Turns out he wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't get out. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I looked at Why it. Was it was he a buried of, in a swimming yeah. pool. There was a whole bunch of weird stuff. I don't know if you guys remember Bella Lugosi. Yeah. He was the original Dracula. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah, silent film actor Dracula. He was buried with his... A cape, his Dracula yeah. cape. Yeah. I mean, that was his thing. I mean, that was his claim to fame. You know, so it's like, you know, like when uh, who's that coach who uh, coached the Cardinals who passed away? Dennis Green. Oh, remember he said, Horzog? "No, remember he said you you are who we thought they were." I think you know when they talked about he it, was, it was buried a, with oh, a the... dictionary because because <laughs> nobody could understand what the hell he was talking. Yeah, but I'm saying like, but that was his claim to fame. So like in his obituary, they they mentioned that one. He was buried with Erlacher's cleats. <laughs> <laughs> He was buried oh, with the man. brawl that Mike Brown intercepted. Uh, <laughs> oh, that wasn't that game. <laughs> All right, so you guys got to tell me, and before we get just before we start everything up and get to Teddy's tips, you guys got to tell me if this is a good thing or not. Oh, am I doing the intro again? No, never there again. There was good feedback, right? It was ter- oh, that feedback was so unpopular. You know, I listened to it, and then when you told me that, I listened to it again. It wasn't that Why? bad. It was normal. Mark, I got, I got good news I thought I did something like wrong. No, I just said... No. Hey, this is the real three idiots. I got good news for you. The more haters you have, that means you're doing something right. Just like Kim Kardashian. No, so it doesn't, Ted. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you? No, no, no. No, no man. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. Instagram and TikTok, that, th- those are the people that I listen to, and, and they just asked me to tell you to just sing. They said, sing your songs. Your songs are great. They're uh, out of their minds. Then our listeners are out of their minds. Singing. They'd rather yeah. me sing. Than do a so, stupid so intro. You, so you just got your first media. You just got your first backlash. You got your first yeah. media backlash. Right. <laughs> but here, I can tell you this: you, you and Ted get way more positive stuff. And I think I told Teddy this: you guys get way more positive stuff than I do. Yeah, everybody what, loves what, you. What, what, do, what do you get? I, I get, I get, I get yelled at for picking on Ted. Yeah, right. Just, yeah. And then I get yelled at for talking about wedgies. But yeah. (laughs) You get yelled at for picking on Mark. (laughs) But the only positive, one of the positive feedbacks I got was, uh, Matt, we want you to go back and do the intro. (laughs) Don't let Mark do it I'll tell you what, my intro would have been a lot better if it wasn't for this fucking SAG strike going on. (laughs) Screen actors guild. Well, people don't know. Matt, tell them. The whole show is scripted. And now that they're on strike, Jackie, we're doing our own thing. So had somebody else written it for me, I spent two weeks on it. Mark, Mark has no thoughts. He oh, needs God. to be given thoughts. That's wow. what he's trying that to say. That is a terrifying... I, Hold I on. Tell the man what two, to say. Wait a minute. I'm on the... If you spent two weeks on it, then maybe it wasn't so good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the wrong page. Yeah. Hold on a second. Um, no, Mark, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, that was for your song. Sorry. I sorry, blame sorry, the sorry. right. I, I blame the, uh, the, 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 the strike. Could you... I mean... Does does Jimmy Kimmel... They, those guys can't do anything, right? Because it's all writer strikes? Like, I think he they're not doing anything right now anyway. It's summer. Yeah. I don't know I mean, how that all works. those shows aren't are starting up in the fall or next oh. week. I think so is the the strike is done. No, but when yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, I have. I have those no guys idea. can write their own stuff for the most part, though. Yeah, I I, I think I, mean, I think honestly, I think everything they do. Conan's a writer, but he's got his podcast now. Yeah, but I think everything that they do is is written for them. Yeah, I think they have one hundred percent. Oh, totally. Yeah, I'm saying. I mean, so, so I was reading that that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry they had a twenty million dollar podcast deal, and I guess it kind of fell through. But I'll, I'll take it. Thank you. But, yeah, but what? but you know the funny thing is like you know they, they seem like they're zero in terms of what personality. What could they say? Nothing. That's why. But it's just them because it's a prince 
and his wife who God, married a prince. Could you imagine well, how not a insanely prince anymore. boring yeah. that would be? And people will listen and they go, oh, we, he talked about, you know what? He likes, he likes green beans. Uh, I'm a lima bean guy. Shit, I, I, we'll I, take I, two million. I'll take two million. <laughs> yeah. We'll take two million. One tenth yeah. for oh. for ninety nine percent more goodness. That's it, half it, of what we're making now, but and, we'll take it. And this is and this is funny. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying this right, but so they're saying that they're not. that Meghan Markle. They said like you know because she was doing the podcast, so they said like if someone wasn't like super famous, she wouldn't even like acknowledge their existence, and then she wouldn't even interview them. They would just like splice her voice in to make it seem like they were interviewing that person. She would only talk to people who was worth her time. I don't believe That's, that. That seems insane. Yeah, that, uh, they don't seem like that, that at all. Seems, no. Oh, they seem 100 percent like that. Those two really? They're all they're yeah. all they over gave the place up all their money and everything. gave away everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, when it, and they're well, it's kind of like the public phase versus the private phase you know like like you know like a comic who's like real friendly and, per, and like kevin hart i heard he's like a jag off in like in like if you tried to he approach was a jag off to me uh, yeah I, I walked up to him Did you really? I, i'm like i'm like man you look like a dwarf <laughs> and you are so small i'm like i'm like i took a crap as big as you yesterday and man he was mad he was got he mad pushing his dog about about it, yeah. was he pushing his dog in a uh, stroller <laughs> was that the guy or no no <laughs> it'd be great but we you know i told my please wife, tell me he doesn't push his dog in a stroller no but i told my wife that story when we were in minnesota we were at these falls there was a couple pushing they had their cat and dog in a stroller together. <laughs> I've seen that. I've That's seen that. Yeah. Actually, I've worse seen that than, I've it's seen actually like worse on than a, a trail dog. going to these falls, and then yeah. they got then they left the dog in the um, stroller and threw the cat over. And then, Thank no, you. And then they put a leash on the cat and walked the cat around like that a dog. Is so weird. Up these trails like a mile to these falls and, and like, a river. Anybody could just throw Everyone, the dog over the edge. But who let? What? I guess oh, I don't know. Oh, who let? Oh, somebody might have been with Jack. What is going on? With I, you, you know, right I there? have that fear of accidentally of falling over dogs? the edge. <laughs> Wait, do you? Like, what if a kid just like ran up to the stroller and like threw the dog? Well, they left the the stroller down is, at the stroller um... down at the. You need to hang around with different children. <laughs> what kind of sick ass kid would I'm just jaded. pick up a dog hey, and throw it over the cliff You've again? You worked with kids, you know. <laughs> There's two or three maximum right. would ever do that a year. Yeah. Didn't you get a wedgie at school, Matt, when you were teaching? Okay, and let's move on here. We talked about. Uh, 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 no. Actually, well, let's talk about. Let's talk about the uh, sex baby. Let's talk let's about talk the about... the the, uh, the bastard brother of the wedgie, the rat tail. What? What's, What's a, a rat? rat? Know, Ooh, is that what you roll up? The rat, a... the rat tail is when you roll up the towel and you dip the tip in water and then you you kind of snap it at somebody. Oh, yeah, How that is that time. related to you do? getting your underwear? All the time? Do you no. really? I did. I, I we I, did that in high school. All the time. We did that in summer camp. <laughs> Dude, we had a technique. There's these guys that came up with this shit where you it'll take, take a chunk, it'll take a chunk, it'll take a right? chunk out of you, and you roll it up like offset so that it starts out thick and it gets thin yeah, as thin, you roll it, it, it out, yeah. and it and you can lock it and it's like a whip, yeah, it and it's got a handle on it. It's like this thick, and you dip that and you just swing like a baseball bat and you pull on it and it. Dude, it ble- wow, that, you bleed. That sounds fun. Yeah. We made people bleed. Good time at camp. Wow. Sounds like a rat tail. Well, I'm Again, sorry. Matt and I did not go to <laughs> yeah. summer camp. Ma- <laughs> Mommy, can I not go to camp this year? Was it camp Northwestern? Was it camp Northwestern? I don't want to get camp. my ass kicked again. This is football camp at Northwestern. <laughs> oh, that makes man. sense. Dude, listen. Did you hear some of that stuff? Yeah. Did Did you they they made they made some of the black guys like um uh. Uh, have watermelon fights? Did you hear this? No, I didn't they, hear they, that. They, they carved in. I guess this is what some guys in the gym were saying. I don't know if it's one hundred percent true or not. They they took the, so the 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 Spanish guys and they carved tacos into their into their head into their that, head. That's one that one guy said. Yeah, that Hispanic football player that's suing. He said they did that to him. Yeah, yeah. this this these are your these are your friends, right? Are these are your friends? What well, I don't understand this. You're an adult man, and this is how you treat yeah, other adult enemies men? with friends like that, right? Yeah, seriously. That just seems well. They're not really adult men. They're like 19, but, 20 year olds, right? So, what's with I mean, all the? I don't understand all the racist stuff. It, it, football. There's there's a lot of different races that play. Why would you be so race? I don't understand why right. coaches would even let this stuff happen. And some of this stuff was by coaches. Yeah. I don't get it. They should have been watching Remember the Titans. You know, that's that was all about bringing the team together, different races, and Every working together as a team. Every time we talk about football movies. It's, Remember the it's, Titans? It's the only football movie well, he's ever well, seen. Well, you know what? If, and if, replacements. If, if Pat Fitzgerald would have watched Remember the Titans, he'd still have a job. <laughs> hey, can we get, can we get Pat on the show? Oh, I don't he's think he's talking. Not, yeah. uh, these days, I don't think. Can we think... get somebody that's pretending to be him? Listen, when, <laughs> when he show? goes to a restaurant, <laughs> when he goes to a restaurant and somebody asks what he orders, he probably has someone else say it for him. Because you know they're going to turn it into something and, really yeah, bad. Yeah. Like really bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm against it. I'm totally against it. All right. Um, let's roll this thing together. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Mark, are you ready? Yeah. Good. I'm not doing Ted, the intro. Ted, are you ready? Why you're asking me. 
Are you ready, Ted? I got fired, Ted. That's oh, Ted's got his focus eyes. Do, Jackie, do you see that what face? What is that? <laughs> that is. It means it means I'm not. I don't have to answer that question. Okay, Pat Fitzgerald. All right, thank you, you very look much. Like Lindsey Buckingham for a minute it's there. Scary. I like Lindsey. That's one of my favorite songs. Lindsey, uh, there's a Lindsey Buckingham song. I go insane. <laughs> I love that song. It's awesome. Okay, so number one, ladies and gentlemen, is that a Fleetwood Mac song? Happy National Lemon Meringue Pie Day. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I, I, hate that I don't really like it. No, is, no, that like key, is that like key lime pie? I don't like that either. Key, key lime, lime pie, pie is good. Key lime pie oh. is like lime. Oh, lemon meringue. Lemon yeah, that's like lemon. Is like lemon. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. I don't like lemon meringue. <laughs> Jackie, if, like the, if, if you could, just for today, just explain things that Ted misses. Like, yeah. like when I say stop and he goes, could you explain <laughs> yeah. what the difference is? I'll talk is? to him like my preschoolers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Excellent job. Slowly. They are similar, Ted. Wow, that's pretty good. Lemon to... <laughs> is made out of lemon. Wow. And you, know, you know what? The level, the level of condescension yeah. is off the chart on this one. <laughs> I'm Man, you're going to have to tag her in. It's like a tag team. <laughs> yeah. Like you started, Actually, and she's going to have to... You know, do the finish it actually, off. I, do the I, better I, I, explain, explain to him. I, yeah. I, I did understand what yeah. she said when you talk very slowly and very enunciate everything. It's like that actually yeah. works. It even does. with adults, yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Ted, Ted, and I felt it. I felt it was very, very, it was very non-threatening Ted's the way she approached right it to me. That <laughs> thing you threw into the canyon was a cat, Ted, not a dog, like you were supposed to. Yeah, terrible idea. All right, hey everybody, my name is Ron Pumpernickel, and this is the True Crime Joe Rogan Jeopardy. Real Three Idiots podcast. Oh, boy. See, I got all those really popular things that people like in there. Right. Uh, with me, as always, is someone who was once kicked out of the Hells Angels for being the wrong kind of person, Teddy. Hey there. Happy Tuesday. It's good to be back for episode number 83, 84. I can't believe you got that right. Damn it, I wish you would have stopped. 83. <laughs> wow. That's insanity. Yeah. Wow. Absolute insanity. And to his military left, yep. <laughs> is a person best summed up in the phrase See? inadequately angry, Mark? Oh. See, he he took part of my intro. What? And put a twist on it. Mm-hmm. What did you? Why? What did you say? I said nautical north. You. And now you said oh, military you left. Did. Those are See, just words. Well, your, your your intro sucked. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> we're not having a one up contest, guys. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm just. I'm very. You know. Hurt. Yeah. Okay. We're we're, we're one downing and. <laughs> And my awesome little sister, who brought a chocolate cake today? No. Oh. Okay. Yes. Well, the streak, yes. con- the streak continues. 83 shows. <laughs> that was yesterday. 83 <laughs> shows, and no one has ever brought us a cake. Didn't know really? you wanted a cake. I it's, thought you liked angel food cake. It's cake. I mean, a cake is really just a gesture of, I appreciate you. And oh, then no you one... should be giving me a cake. Why should I give you a cake? Because yeah. you asked me to come on the show, and I come on the show. Oh, Mark, we're going to need a cake. All right. All right. Ted, Baker, Ted I Baker couldn't Square. Even, Baker you, Square is open. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Chocolate Get cake. Me a cake. <laughs> Teddy, have you ever made a cake? Have you ever made any kind of any um, kind of dessert? And other than a pop tart. I made a really Pop-tart. I really I made a really nice creme brulee one time. I'm lying. I never made anything. I was say, <laughs> but you believe what? me? Look, you should believe me for a second there. For a second there, he looked like he was going. I, what? Think I nuked no, some. Ted, I nuked something. He didn't believe How about we just have Jack make us some brownies? He makes oh, really he good brownies. Does. Well, then now, we that's... could all be thankful. Well, now for everybody, being here. now everybody's making those THC brownies. I'm not. Can... I think Ted's already had some brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, are you, are you already changing the recipe? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, it seems like every time somebody has a brownie, it's like I just had a brownie with THC infused. You know, that's the new. That's the new. Oh, trend, that's right? new. Putting pot in, ba- in brownies. Uh, yeah, yeah, this brand just started just happening. Tap, what? Yeah. 2022. <laughs> yeah. You never heard of that, Mark? It's brand new. It's it's a real new thing. All right. Don't bogart that brownie, <clears throat> CBN man. brownie. <laughs> All right, uh, Teddy, I'm going to do our sponsor, and then Mark is going to sing an incredible song. <laughs> the best ever. Yeah, he's going to. He's not going to sing the intro. He's just going to sing the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have an. That's ult- what you should do. You should just sing an intro. All right. No, don't do it. No. Just don't ki- don't just give kidding. him. Don't give him any ideas. Welcome please. to the show. Oh. And Cut. done. <laughs> Again, first edit ever. Okay, here we go. Uh, how many times has this happened to you? You're walking down the street, and a bad guy smashes you on the top of the head with a bat and takes your money. If you're like me, it happens all the time. Well, those days of headaches and being broke are a thing of the past. Introducing the hard hat, a baseball hat made from hardened steel that will protect your head not only from would-be thieves, but from all kinds of dangerous situations. You will never again have to worry about softball-sized hail, falling shoes, and even airplane parts that are constantly plummeting to the earth. The hard hat can look like your favorite team, college, 
or even sport a catchphrase from a famous narcissist who may be running for president. And don't worry, if you're a douchebag, the hard hat can be worn backwards and still offer full protection. Hard hat is available exclusively at Don's Hats, Don's Hats and Vape Shops all across the country, or you can get it online at gethard.com. Another vape what? shop uh, comment. No, this is this this guy is just he has so many vape shops and in different I guess in different places he just sells different things. Huh. It's pretty amazing. You know, that reminds me of the uh we were watching Hard Knocks last night and they have the practice helmets that oh, yeah, are those, all yeah. they have all the padding all around them. Oh yeah, for concussions. Yeah. I don't know why they don't use them during the games. That's what somebody just said the other day. Cuz yeah. cuz yeah. then them fellows would be sissies. Yeah. I, I, but then they also would have their brains when they're 40 years old. Well, I don't even know that I mean, you're still brain. out on that if those even work, you know. I don't know. I mean, if they're wearing them every day in practice. Right. That Somebody just said that the other day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, why don't they wear them during the games? Why do they have to wear them during practice right. but not during Could, the games? When the least amount of contact is happening, they're wearing them. That does make sense. No, no, practice has more contact. That's why I said most of the concussions and stuff come from. Really? Yeah, because you're constantly hitting your head. It's not, you know, it's it's over and over and over again for hours and hours oh, and hours. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Teddy. Could we get you one of those? You know, I always <laughs> for the show. No, don't you see no, those for just every day? No, don't life. you see the, inf- the infants? They have the little foam like helmets when they're you know babies. Like the parents put them on. So that's I guess not they don't for falling. That's not for falling. No, but it's shaping. Oh, Ted, it's their what happened when you were misshapen? Oh, is that what that is? I thought like that was they, to protect if them. If they lay for... on their back yeah. too long, oh. their head gets misshapen, so that reshapes. Oh, so I thought head. that was in case they because they didn't have, they don't have the neck control as no. babies, so they bump their heads. Okay, so I didn't. It's kind of because of no neck. That's why. That's why your mom had you wear Ted. But yeah, for most people, they lay on their back and they can't move their neck. Oh, I see. Probably so they end up with like a dent in their head. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're kind of you're kind of right. Yeah. I was in the I was in the ballpark, you know. Yeah, this wasn't. A, I'm not trying to get to medical school. I'm just having a conversation. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm not taking oh, the. I'm, I'm, gonna see, I'm, I'm not gonna taking get, the MCAT. All right. I'm gonna get ripped on. I'm gonna get ripped on for this for for picking on Teddy. Right? Yeah, I am. I know this. I can I can already see. It. Somebody's there's already another, typing in Instagram. There's Matt being a dick again to Ted. There's another check yeah. mark. <laughs> Poor Ted. Another show. Yeah. All right, Marquise. What was Ted? Yeah. Let's hear that song, man. Give me a ticket for a Ted tip. Ain't got time to take an acid trip. Lonely days are gone. Ted is never home. A letter just wrote me a letter. I don't care how long this tip is gonna take. Ted's got to get back and try to stay awake. Lonely days are gone. Ted is never home. A listener just wrote him a letter. Well, she wrote Ted a letter and said she couldn't live without his tips no more. Listen, Teddy, can't you see I got to get back to my normal place now? Anyway, yeah, yeah. give me a ticket for a TED tip. Ain't got time to take an acid trip. Lonely days are gone. Teddy's never home. A listener just wrote him a letter. Wow. A listener just, just a wrote, wrote him a letter. letter. Oh, there's more. That was good. That's it. That's oh, good. Yeah, man, wow. that is really, that was good. really good. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. See? And, Came and, to me in the shower today. <laughs> Uh, I don't well, know. Not how you, to Matt. Respond. Not you, yeah, Matt. The song. Was that why you were fully lathered up, or was that pre pre lathering? That's a vision. <laughs> it's a vision. <laughs> Ted, Let's just soak that one in, Lufa, folks. Little Lufa. That was a good one, Mark. Thank that, you. Yeah, that was a really good. good song. Yeah. And Teddy, you're drinking. Box top. Bravo. We want everybody to know Ted is drinking. Bravo. Teddy's yeah, but drinking. You know what? I was watching him when we started, and he opened that Mickey's. It was just from last week. I thought it was lemon juice. And he, yeah, <laughs> it does look like one of those big lemon juice bottles. It looks like a it totally Ted just does. slamming lemon juice. And when Jackie said that, he goes to take a sip and he made like a lemon juice face. Like, is it already bad, Ted? No, it's good. Okay. No, it's terrible. It's Mickey's Big Mom. That's I mean, skunky. Thank, thank God, yeah. Thank God, we'll never have think them. Think you got some skunky but, beer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Bud, that's the Budweiser commercial. Remember the Budweiser commercials back in the day? Had they had like the Born on Day? Oh yeah, yeah. So the guy called the hotline. He goes, I think I got some skunky beer. It was like that was before Budweiser ruined their brand yeah, by they made that sour by by uh, you know making bad by having the three decisions. frogs. <laughs> I, know, I I don't like frogs. I don't like frogs. Yeah. That, that bothered Didn't me. they have the I Love You Man commercial? The guy's like always trying to get his butt leg. He goes, I love you, man. Hey, that's our guy. <laughs> we got to get that guy on the show. Who? Bill Lindsay. I Love oh, You Man. The yeah. I Love You he Man. He wrote those. Yeah, he didn't want to be on the show. Yeah, I know. Man, it's, it's oh. his. If he doesn't want to be on the show, he doesn't want to be on the show. No, I, I mean, just talked to him last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He can go on Harry and Mark, uh, Meghan Markle's show. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be so great. I wonder. I, We're here to bore you to death, yeah. sir. <laughs> I would have to listen just to see how many people they got that turned me down. Like, well, they're not doing it, I guess. Oh, they're just not going to do it? I guess not, well, right? You know what? We'll just have them be on our show then. 
Yeah, they can just oh, that can be a, like a weekly thing. They can just come on and talk. Stuff. You, you know them, right, Jackie? Jackie? Call them. I do, Jackie yeah. will drop a dime for I us. I think they live over by the Park Ridge uh, Theater. Yeah, you know? yeah. By the vape shop. <laughs> by, right, by Don's vape. By the pants and vape shop. Vape. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Teddy, are you ready for your tip? Yes. All right. Have you thought about this one? Briefly. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, dear Ted, we <laughs> desperately need your help. My parents want to move in a house right by where my husband and I just moved. We don't want that. We purposefully moved away from them. How can I stop them? And not make them feel bad. You have to help us. <laughs> we, we, I, I have to. Or? Sorry, we are not. We are not ruling out poison or hitmen. But you really can't trust either one. We need a better solution. Abigail, thirty-three, Wisconsin. I left my town out just in case we go with something extreme. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Okay. You know, on, on a side note, I'm reading about all these failed hitman stories. They're great. I'm going to have to tell you about one later today. So, anyway, long story is, short. Is that like an Alabama story? Because I'm going to no. go with a no one. No, this is, this is a Bahama story. Right. But anyway. You know, you know what? I re- before you get started, I didn't, here I didn't realize. I didn't realize how many people don't want to be around their parents. And I'm just happy that my kids love me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope they love me. But they yeah. Do. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay, so go ahead, Teddy. Yeah. I'm sorry. That uh, just freaked me out. So, I'm a little flummoxed by this tip because it's really it's really there's really no right answer for it because you're really talking about okay, so the woman's parents, the wife and her husband, she said her parents want to move nearby. So she didn't say next door, she said nearby. So that could just be probably walking distance. Down, I'm assuming yeah. like down yeah. the block. I felt like neighborhood, yeah. yeah. I yeah. felt like walking okay. distance. Yeah. Yeah. So, so obviously, you know, when when she said she was trying to get away from them, so I'm getting a stalking vibe. I'm getting a restraining order vibe, but obviously you're not going to do from your that. parents. Yeah, but because it, it sounds in like in the history of the world, how many restraining orders from I mean, parents not have gonna, come up? Actually, but there are probably more than we think. But there yeah. are cases of kids legally divorcing their parents. You ever heard about that? Right? They actually went to court to legally divorce sure. their parents. That's I, that, that's wait, another divor- topic. How can you divorce someone who's your mom and dad? You can become like emancipated, emancipated minor. Yeah, like you you basically disown your parents, sort of like like a legal proclamation. Yeah, there's a word for <laughs> it. declaration of. I thought it was emancipation. Maybe it is. Yeah. yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a topic for another. I think time. they would have mentioned if there was some kind of a restraining order. Well, I'm just making I'm just going. making a lot of assumptions, right? Because you know, oh, you're just going to assume. Yeah, I, yeah, I make you... a lot. That's my job is to make okay. a lot of assumptions. Yeah. Okay. 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 So anyway, so long story short, number one, the bad news is you really can't stop them because it's a free country. So I mean, obviously, if they could afford the house, and is it, it really a free near, country? Too? Well, I mean, for some, not you know, it's freer for some than there, there are others. Okay. But let's okay. just assume for the sake of this tip, it's it's you know they're free to move wherever they want. And they're yeah, not, but they, they're they need be, a way to discourage them. Right, discourage them. Okay, you can obviously the first thing to do is have a sit down with them and just not coerce them, but just strongly <laughs> recommend that you know they prefer, they would prefer if they were not living in the vicinity. So it is like a true sit down, like them. a mafioso thing. You're <laughs> like saying, said, hey, Mom, yeah. Dad, why don't <laughs> you have a sit down? Hey, why don't you have a seat, Mark? Mark, <laughs> why don't you stand right behind my folks and yeah. Go ahead and sh- why don't you sharpen your knives and, and just yeah. You're gonna go give a, you're giving an offer they can't refuse, right? Okay. So you say to them, remember how we used to live really close to you, and then we moved away. Remember how much that sucked for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember how much and I how hated that. How happy we are yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And you could just you could you know give scenarios like, hey, we'll, we'll, we promise to visit you on you know the major holidays or just something if they really need to be next to her, you know, next to them that badly. You know, oh, so, so you kind of you kind of throw some like some, yeah, throw some, them a bone, throw them a bone, yeah, give oh, them some incentivize okay. them, incentivize them, you know, because if you, if you go scorched earth and shut them down, then they have no choice. So it's like a two year old, you got to give a two year old two choices, you give a three year old three choices. So you got to think of your parents like a t- like a three year old. You got to give them choices. So you throw them, you throw them maybe like a Thanksgiving and yeah, Christmas just say, bonus. We'll invite we'll yeah. invite you over for thank. We'll fly you in from where we are. On us, and, and it's like a bribe. You know, basically, we'll say, "Hey, wherever you are, as long as you know, in their mind, not, as long as you're not near us." Yeah. So you're living on the opposite coast or hundreds of miles away. We'll fly you in every, you know, either Christmas or Thanksgiving that year. We'll rotate it on our dime. You could stay with us for that weekend, and yeah. So obviously, that's that's an option. You know, so you're kind of bribing them in a way. Okay. <laughs> so that is so insane yeah. to think that you have to bribe your parents. You know what? To not live. You ever been? You. you ever been to Southeast Asia? You got to bribe everybody. Okay, so some of these <laughs> corn countries, you got to bribe. I mean, everything's bribery, or you know, it's called tipping, but it's really bribing. You know, the police. Wait, officials. Am, I, am I bribing the waitress when when she brings me my beer? <laughs> no, no, so, yeah. Please let me stay yeah. longer. No, but I'm saying there are cult, there are cultures <laughs> where have to leave. there Don't are cultures me. where yeah. Yeah, it's not really. T- it's like tipping, sort of, but it's really not tipping. You know, it just depends on the situation. But that's that's a tip for well, another tipping time. is in Asia. Yeah, well, I mean, you're tipping everybody. No, you know, I mean, it's, it's a city in China. Oh, oh I thought God. the Nile was a river in Egypt. 
Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. Look, so, so, okay. So, a little bribery. A little yeah, bribery. Bri- yeah, a little bribery. Okay. Inse- incentivize <laughs> them. Incentivize them not to move. The inter- okay. Assuming that doesn't work and they, and they, you know, they're hell bent on moving to your area. Now, it says, so it doesn't sound like they're going to be next door neighbors, but they're in the vicinity. So, let's assume it's in walking distance to them. You could do three things. Let's please assume say, that. Please say poison. Please <laughs> no, say poison. no, no. You want to set some boundaries. You know, just like you talk in therapy, right? That's, that's the watch word in therapy. Like, bo- we have to set boundaries. So, the boundary could be uh, you can't come to our house unannounced. You can't come, you know, these days of the week. Um, you know, I mean, you could do Monday, that. Monday, Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday. Okay, Thursday's good. I'm usually out of town. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to do mode and electrified fence, so we're not going to do that. Thursday, we need you to watch the kids. So yeah. Thursday, you can come yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> now, you could, I mean, just in a roundabout way, if you have to go a little bit, uh, you know, Viet Cong on them, I guess you could have dogs. You could have, like, you know, it's like they're dog lovers, so you have dogs where, the you know, nobody wants to come to your house. Or you could have, like, a large private. Yeah, but, but Teddy, have, I, I mean... They're, they don't even want them to move there. So you're yeah. talking about coming to visit. How do they get them not to move into their, say, town or whatever? Well, t- that goes back to my first part of my tip, which is like you want to incentivize them. Just say, hey, you know, if you could be so kind as to not come near us, <laughs> we'll we we'll, won't we'll, poison you. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this for <laughs> you. Yeah, we'll we'll f- we'll we'll fly in or we'll pay all expenses paid on us every you know major you know like thanks Thanksgiving or okay, Christmas. But I'm, I'm just going to play Why don't they just advocate. lie? Why don't they just lie and say? You guys shouldn't move here because we're like we're moving in a year. We're not going to live here. That's we're, a good tip. We're moving. That's a good tip. We're gonna, only going to stay here for we, two years. We hate tops. It here. As a matter of <laughs> fact, we're putting our house up for sale tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and just string them on for years. Yeah. I thought you were moving. Yeah. Well, yeah. this happened and that Inspection happened. Fell but I wouldn't move here because we're not going to be here. Why would you move next oh door? We're God. like moving in or, six months. Yeah. You could say that, you could the say ghosts, that. the ghosts, the crime, <laughs> the crime ghosts. Yeah, uh, it's it's incredible. Do you like ghosts yeah. who commit crime? Because there's yeah. a lot of that here. You, Both of our neighbors' houses were hit by asteroids. You, you can, you can, I mean, we're we're out of here. You can say there's rust and hemorrhoids. <laughs> there's rust in the water, like Flint, Michigan, or something. You could say you can make stuff up, you know. So oh, so just make up stories make about up like stories. what's going. Oh. There's pesticides. There you go. <laughs> See, now you're on the right track. Yeah. Just lie. But but, assume, but assuming they do, so just lie. But assuming they they do move in you know obviously because like i said it is a free country and if they could afford the home in the area there is no move in they need them to stop okay well we're not you're you're already you're giving up these people abigail does not want them (laughs) there so you can't like once they're there it's over no it's not no it's not over screwed no it's not over that's called plan b so if they are there i'm just saying so we gave first so mark gave some good suggestions you know the incentivization part where you sit them down and kind of coerce them in a nice way like hey if you do this we'll do this for you uh, hey, you could even write it in a con- You could even make it a written offer to them. Just say, hey, you know, we'll we'll honor this. We'll honor this agreement. Think it, it kind of like Kevin Costner. How Koster's, insane would that like, be to like give Kevin, a written offer to your parents? Kind of like Kevin okay, Costner's so prenuptial. Outlines, <laughs> Kevin Costner's um, prenuptial. You <laughs> not moving within two hundred miles, and you just <laughs> need to initial there. And then uh, this one says you're going to stop calling. I mean, this is bullshit. I, you know, the calls. I, we don't even have a house phone. Okay, so you're going to do that. And uh, I, I don't know who showed you how to Skype. But that's out too. Yeah. That's Next done. thing you know, mom and dad come back with a contract saying, "Here's all the things that I paid for you yeah. your whole entire life. I would like that paid back." <laughs> oh man, this could turn out really okay. So, so Abigail needs to think about this because this could come back and bite her in the ass pretty bad. Yeah. Is Skype even a thing? I, I don't know. Man. I think it's, I, done. it's like a fax. FaceTime. Machine. I mean, what you could fax? No more letters. faxes. Okay, I no think, more faxes think, either. Let's get Skype, that in there. Skype still exists, I think, in some capacity. I just read a book where um, there was a guy who was a hypnosis, and he. Uh, he was able to hypnotize people like Not into doing what they needed, to, what he wanted them to yeah. do. Maybe, maybe they could be hypnotized. It is, not a, it is a to... form of like uh, therapy or something like that. We're supposed to have Bibic on, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting in touch with him. Don't worry. Oh, you never have. I'm gonna Dude, man. You were gonna be. I you're sent, out of your mind. I sent. You know, I just. It's. He would have come on. He would have been on like with Jackie today. He lives right here. In my basement? Over by the Pickwick. <laughs> everybody's, o- everybody's over there, right by Abigail. Right Abigail, by Abigail, good news. <laughs> you have a hip- hypnotist, a guy who does hypnosis, right by your house. Okay? And, well, she's close. If she's in Wisconsin, maybe he can just zip over there. And she can invite the go. parents over for, like, Thanksgiving. He can zip over, have a little turkey, hip- hypnotize the parents, <laughs> and be like, uh, Mom and Dad, you still want to move here? No, we really don't. <laughs> we don't like it here. We'd like to go to Nebraska. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. It's an option. 
Look, or like I said, assuming that they're moved in before the parents want to come, you can say, oh, this place is actually not as good as we thought. And like like Mark said, hey, we're, we're probably only going to stay here for a couple of years because, yeah, we just you know just make some stuff right. up. And yeah, so you could just... It's a loser deal. Yeah. Yeah. The chimpanzees are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's, we bought a house that's on a den of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> den of snakes. Ooh, that would keep me away. I, I, Somebody did in Idaho. They bought a house. It was like a foreclosed house, and they noticed like this little gardener snake in their bathroom, and it turned out their, they, the house was actually built on a nest of snakes and, it was, and the house was like infested. It was oh, it was one of those HB show, HBO shows, Infested, oh. where it's like oh, rats what? or cockroaches or something. That's a show. Yeah, it's called Infested. It was not on HBO, but just like one of those cable shows. I don't think it's on anymore. It's like where hoarders remember oh, hoarders. Yeah, it's yeah. On, it's, on, it's on Max. Like Discovery or something yeah, it, yeah. Like that. So the it's people, yeah, you know, they wake up one day and there's like and there's like there's like a mouse, and then they come back next day. There's two, then there's three, and then and then they find out that they this actually happened. So somebody built a mansion, like a really nice house, and there were rats in the attic. And it turned out that the contractor that built the house, the sore pipe w- was actually leading to like whatever, like the main, like, you know, like the, ma- the main like road or something where like the rats could just, it was literally like a pipeline where the rats could just get in oh. to their house. It wasn't like capped off or anything. Yeah. And it was just like, and they couldn't figure it out for the longest. So, so picture like a multi-million dollar house that's literally infested with. So she, rats. she prints up that story. Yeah. Right. And then says it's her house. <laughs> right. And then, right. They, then they're out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Abigail, you have a lot of options right here that hopefully will help you uh, well, to yeah. make your parents. Yeah. Or just, go yeah, find, you have a rat snake house. Yeah. yeah find, find out what, what the parents. A rat yeah. Find out what the main weakness is. Like if, if, the wife, if, the, if the mother or the, or the father in law are afraid of like whatever, that's what you say. That's yes. what you go with. Yeah. There so, you yeah. go. Whatever, whatever their phobia is, you find out what that is. And you go with that. I like the way your tip has evolved. It's I think evolved. this is very good. Yeah. Wow. After it's like a group tip. After some yeah. minor yeah. criticism, I did. I did have to amend that. Well, tip your a very first bit. thing was just have have a sit down. Yeah, well, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Have a sit down. Ted, Ted, if honesty, just, Ted, if just honesty talk to worked, the <laughs> if, Ted, if honesty worked, no one would ever send us a tip. Oh, I didn't say no be honest. Would I didn't ever say be honest with them. You can lie to them, but just just sit them down. You know what you do. <laughs> I want to sit down and have an honest conversation with you. It's so, it's so funny when you sent that tip out because that. Two days before that, my barber told me a story about how his in-laws, they used to live on the same block, and his father-in-law would come over every morning, like unannounced, the doorbell would just ring. They lived in an apartment upstairs, and every morning, he's like, I'm getting ready for work, and the doorbell rings. My father Hey, what's up? What's going on here, buddy? And he would, he was, so he would let him up, and, you know, this started, and he would let him up, and, oh, you know, he's like, I'm getting ready, you know, I'm getting ready. He's like, okay. And he would sit down and want some coffee, yeah, and he, he's, like, starting to get ready for work, and, you know, his wife's, you know, already gone and stuff. And this was happening every single day. So he had a conversation with his wife. He's like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? She's like, don't answer the door. He's like, <laughs> but he knows we're home. He sees the car downstairs, you know? Move yeah, the and then if he walks out, the car, if, if the guy's back. standing so, there as he oh, walks true. out for so then for he's like, so then, it got, so then he was like, well, he's yeah. like, the next day, he's like, hey, I came over. You, you, you guys were home, but you didn't. Oh, I was in the shower. And then it was like, Ooh, it was like, he was nice. so, he's like, I, you know, I was going to work. I was in the shower. And then that, you know, eventually he ran out of excuses. And then he said he, his, his father would come over and nobody would answer the door. Then he would leave a note on the car. And he's like, he wasn't coming over for anything specifically. He was just like lonely. He was just coming over to hang out. But that's like and the worst time to come over when you're getting ready to go to work. Every, like you like, got it was like your every routine morning. and you're busy to, you're getting ready like to like leave. every morning. And then he said that like, like uh, he, um. He would come over and uh, act like he needed something, like, hey, uh, can I borrow uh, uh-huh. this or that? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then he would just hang out, and then he's like, finally, they just had to just move. Just poisoned him? Yeah. Just poisoned him. <laughs> no, he's like, we had to move, man. We they couldn't. thought about the poison. He's like, I love, Jack, we love him to death. Jackie, I know but, you're really busy, but. Holy crap, they had to can't. move. Wait, yeah, Jackie, like, I know moved. you're busy, but I want to talk about this timeshare. It's only going to take about a Yeah, right, hour exactly. So <laughs> have a little time. Oh my God! <laughs> Let me. Wow. <laughs> See, yeah, Teddy can't get to that. So Abigail, Abigail, go scorched earth. Okay, yeah. All the terrible, stupid things that we said. Try all of them because that is the last thing you okay. would ever. Now want. remember the Viet Cong dug all those tunnels. I want you to start digging tunnels and just pop up and just you know, <laughs> <laughs> just a, a sneak out. <laughs> sneak out. Yeah. <laughs> did you add an extra door? No. Bro. No, we did not. No, we like didn't Al Capone's that. secret vault. <laughs> <laughs> when there was nothing in there. <laughs> no, it, that was just a way for Al Capone. See, that, now I understand it. When Geraldo was looking yeah, at his vault, went down there. it was just so just Al Capone escape. could get away escape. from his father-in-law exactly. and he didn't yeah, have to listen. That's yeah. all it was. Oh, it makes now perfect sense. You don't want anything in there. You want to be able to run through there in the dark far as fast as you can away from... Okay. That, that was like sense. live TV that just completely bombed. I love that. Yeah, that was one of the greatest awesome. things of all time. Everyone loves that thing. Okay. Um, I need to know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Are you ready? 
Yes. In Florida, high school students are not allowed to read the entire book of Romeo and Juliet. The entire book. They cannot. They can only read parts of the book. Please guess why they are not allowed to read the entire book. Okay, I'm not familiar with the story, but don't they commit suicide at the end of the book? Is that what it is? That is not one of the reasons. I, that's what I thought too. I, immediately, that's what I thought. Well, like the, there was there was suicide in there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nope. No. 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 It's in Florida. Now. Was there oh. like some kind of biracial because interaction? They're, because they're under. Ooh, because they're you under, are getting because they're under sir. they're underage. Yep. There was. Uh, uh, there was. Are you ready for this? Implied <laughs> and, and not even underage. Implied premarital sex between the two characters. So the kids in high school. I want you to think about this. The kids in high school are not allowed to read that part of the book okay. anymore because it would corrupt them. Yeah. It would corrupt their ideals. We yeah. read that in high school. I read that. And who, Look at you now. Who was the censor of that? The, the, church, the, church, the church lady? <laughs> I, How about Satan? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I could, Is the church lady the consultant for the uh, Florida high school uh, I, I education have, system? I have no idea, but this I want you to think about control. I'm not yeah, that's, I mean, how many books? I can't wait until all these people anything. that are doing this are just gone. Wait, wait. Yesterday, no I relevant. heard I heard this thing that so Mike Huckabee put out. I think it was either a book or something on the internet. It's a guide. It's a child's guide to anti-socialism. So he's trying oh, to teach goodness. children how to go against socialism. Mike Huckabee. Wait, but socialism he's a like like socializing yeah, or like the, no, the like concept the, of government, the social a socialistic like, government, a socialistic yeah. government. So a guide for children. Oh yeah, because yeah. kid, kids are, kids make changes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I, like for little kids, not not high school kids or anything. Could just you for even, like six year olds? The kids can't even read, and they're gonna they're gonna try to understand what a socialist government is. This one where like everybody helps everybody. Yes, and you see how shitty that is. <laughs> well, don't you see well, it? Well, it's, yeah. it's easy to teach kids about socialism. Here's what you do. So this kid works hard for this. Okay, now you got three of this. Okay, so we're gonna take one of them away from you and give it to the kid who just was been sleeping and playing with playing with yeah. himself all day, and so now he's got one too. <laughs> That's what socialism is, okay? Are you? Does that make you Wait, feel good? Wait, is socialism where you, where <laughs> you, you charge Roger everybody beating off in the corner? Yeah. yeah. He's as rich as you are now. <laughs> exactly, yeah. There you go. So Lesson over. See? What's the big deal? <laughs> you and Mike Huckabee teaching against socialism. <laughs> oh, man. But you know what the problem is? It, it, these people aren't going to go away. Yeah. There, there are, like, for every adult, like, who has these crazy things, there's, like, a group. They have, like, high school groups of, of kids who, who, you know, follow along with these things. I mean, there's there's kids that every day, you know, wear the the, the uh, shirts like um, <clears throat> uh, MAGA shirts and Brandon, Brandon and all that kind of stuff. There's they're, they're high school kids. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, where are they getting it from? As soon though? as this fat ass yeah. goes to jail, it's going to be over. I don't know. Maybe maybe soon in Georgia. Maybe I don't know. the Rico case. I don't know. I, I don't know. But but I mean, th- those groups are. <clears throat> that's why. I mean, you guys heard about this thing in I think it was Ohio where they voted. Um, they wanted to have. Uh, uh, was it section one or or referendum number one and they wanted to make it so that they needed 60 percent of a popular vote to change their constitution the state constitution and all the special interest groups wanted this and they wanted it for one special reason it would make it harder for regular people like us to change the state constitution and i'll show you why it's hard that's that's a thing it's easy for special interest groups to pay off a small amount of people. Think about it. There's, yeah. I think in Ohio, there's only 99 senators. So all you have to do is bribe over half or lobby over half of those people yeah. to get whatever you want. I want you to think about that. 50 people. If you can pay 50 people, bribe 50 people, you can stop abortion. You can make prayer legal in school. You can do all those things. If the regular people vote, well, most people don't want to stop all those things. They, they, they don't, they don't want to. Not have abortion. They, 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 it's like, okay, if a woman wants to do that, that's fine. I don't like it, but I'm not going to tell everybody else what to do. So it makes them stop doing this, and it makes it, it makes it easier for special interest groups and the government, you know, those people we elect who are supposed to do what we want, but they don't, to change things for them. Yeah, but that's our fault because, like I said, you know, the, the politicians are not rock stars. They're they they're supposed to, in theory, do the will of the people. So if they're not, you could you could do a referendum and vote them. Well, you should be able to vote them out, but unfortunately, you're not going to get that type of organization among the masses because you know people are just you know they're just worried about their own lives, so they don't have the time or the inclination to literally, you know, be hyper focused on that one event. Yeah, but but technically, if, if a politician's doing the you know not not doing the will of what the majority of the people want. They should be voted out. And well, like in California, you know, the, the a lot of people don't like the politics. They don't like the homelessness. They don't like the taxes. You know, so they vote with their feet and they just leave. 
that's 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 what they're doing. You know, they leave. Oh man, I saw so New York. Stuff. New York. New York's lost a lot of their population. Yeah. Uh, LA's lost a lot of their population. So, yeah, so so sometimes the best way to vote is just vote with your feet and just you know leave it behind. I'm not going to pay taxes or, into or, something or petition to make that part of the state another state. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the greater Idaho, the greater California movement. <laughs> hey, it's look, it's possible. I told you. I told you what that guy said, uh, Mike McCarter. I told you. He said one way or another, we're going to be part of Idaho. That was that was just a really weird. Yeah. And I didn't get. Ominous. I mean, because it was yeah, it was just such a ten years. Let's see how I, he feels about it. I'm still working on this. Well, like, I, I mean, he's. I think he's an older fella. I, I mean, somebody's going to have to take that up yeah, and, yeah. and change things up. I, yeah. I I don't know how that works. Okay. Um, weird or not weird? Michigan mom on trial, okay, for co-signing to buy her son guns. How old is her son? Uh, he's he's in his 20s. I'm going to say 25, 26. Co-sign? How do you co-sign to buy a gun? I guess, so... <sighs> I should probably give you some back background. Yeah. Uh, number one, he's been in and out of mental, mental institutions. Okay. Uh, he threatened to murder the governor of Michigan. He threatened to murder the uh, president of the United States. Um, the mom is actually physically scared of him. Um, let's see. And she's co-signed <clears throat> for a gun for him? Yeah. Well, it's uh, not even weird. It's just yeah. immoral. She's, yeah. 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 Uh, she says his therapy that he's been going to since he's been in and out of institutions isn't working. And she co-signed for him for a gun, and now she's on trial and says she didn't do anything wrong. Did he end up hurting someone? No, but it, he's not. He wasn't allowed to own a gun. He did, you know. As soon as he got the guns, that's when he threatened to murder the governor, like <laughs> and uh, the president, yeah, and, and the president. It's hard well, to do that without the guns. But here's here's that right. sure, real, so slap, real case: slap fights so, and wedgie. Well, we know it's atomic, atomic wedgie. wedgie. You don't need a gun. You just yeah, right. So in Highland Park, that kid who. Shot seven people during the the July Fourth uh, parade last year. His father is on trial yep. for for basically sponsoring his Foyd card from three years ago because I guess he was even though he wasn't institutionalized he was threatening he threatened he, everybody threatened everybody yeah so he and then the father threatened to kill multiple people yeah. in his school and then the father multiple and the father times. the father helped him get the you know get the Foyd card which led to the gun so now this guy is actually on trial yeah so so, so he so, says he didn't do anything wrong yeah. so so the answer is not weird because there's some precedent for that so you got to use some common sense even though you know even though what they did wasn't maybe technically illegal it's extremely poor judgment and and why would you do that you yeah. know why would you give a nut why would you give someone who's clearly yeah mentally crazy? Well, i mean yeah. what would be the chances that What's he the purpose didn't of kill the you yeah right well that she said she was she came back and said that she was she's afraid of him she's physically afraid of him he lives in the house she's physically afraid of him i'm afraid of my she son gun. so the best thing to do is get him a gun. Yeah, help him get a the gun. Wo- yeah. That's like a, I was like doing poetry. I, I, actually, it was the woman <laughs> in... A, uh, it's I, a haiku. I don't know what state it is, but the woman, I guess her six-year-old, took her loaded gun to school and shot the first grade teacher. Yeah, yeah, so just she, saw, she yeah. just pled guilty to, you know, basically That's child... We, we talked about that. ...being that a just, dipshit. I just yeah. saw that today. So she's going to get about two... Probably get like two years in, in prison, you know, but she pled guilty, yeah, because the kid took the gun, shot the teacher, and the, you know, the kid obviously is a little psychopath. That you know no that remorse, teacher is so. suing this. Yeah, good for like $40 million, And here's the funny thing. That, that, that doesn't make any that's, sense. That's well, school, they, they, this, they were told that this kid yeah, but had why, a gun. Forty? I'm not going to yeah. give her forty million bucks. Her that's one. That's her. the show we talked about where they checked his backpack. And yeah, they checked. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 I think they have like metal detectors and they checked the backpack and they couldn't find the gun. Yeah. We, <laughs> they find, they you know what? I will tell you right now, and Jackie knows this. Six-year-olds are way smarter than you think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They can hide all sorts of stuff. I mean, I can't tell you how many kids, six-year-olds, meth. <laughs> crack fentanyl that's that's where it started it's not like the good drug it mules. started <laughs> yeah no it started in grammar schools because it was so easy for them to hide it well, you know, they're just so well, much you know, smarter you know what criminals do when they go to rob a bank they send in they send in the underage kid because if the kid gets busted they'll treat him like a juvenile so they won't get the foot max sentence they'll be out when they're by the time they're 21 oh. so and that's just, what all these carjackings and FYI. stuff are they're all underage yeah. kids yeah what yeah all these carjackings and everything happened around chicago yeah. and the body shops and the car dealers were. When you say underage, you take it saying like sixteen. No, 15. they're like fourteen, fifteen years old. Wow. Yeah, but now, yeah. but now a lot of these people with these legal conceal and carry, uh, you know, are taking matters into their own hands and and uh, you know, basically taking you know, take like I said, you know. So when I think there's been a couple of cases in Chicago, yeah, where, it, yeah. And where the, the the guy who's going to be about to be robbed, you know, takes out a gun and it's funny. Like there was a case of, I think a few months ago where. I think they're like fourteen and fifteen year olds approach this guy in the middle of the day. Guy takes out a gun, shoots the one guy. You know, the little. 
the other kid drives away, of course, of course crashes the car, you know, that he's a stolen car they're driving because they don't have, he doesn't have a license. And I think the one kid breaks his leg and the other kid's shot. And they both get arrested. So that's good. So that was a feel good story. So, you know, that's, <laughs> two kids were just playing with a gun. I think that was on like today's, yesterday's or today's news. Two kids, like eight year olds, were playing with a gun and one of them shot the other one. I don't know if, I can't yeah. remember if the kid died or not, which is sad that I can't remember that. But like, the, I guess the, gun was just like laying around in the house and so the kids were playing around with it yeah. and i leave uh, yeah when, when the kids were little i i i kind of encouraged them to play with guns yeah well you but know they're smarter than you so they said no yeah i yeah. found ted some balls these are for ted i take it yeah can, can, no don't 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 put those up there all they're gonna do is yeah oh my god i'm gonna yeah yeah it's colored ted, ted's not an adult man so he plays with colored golf balls <laughs> yeah that's that's the gag I use all the time. I when I'm working at the golf course, my boss is like, "Do we have any more yellow golf balls?" And I'm like, uh, "I think all the adult <laughs> men are playing today, so we don't need any." Yeah, they just play with the white <laughs> golf balls. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ted, Ted, he causes like mass confusion if all of a sudden he switches to a white ball. Yeah. And nobody knows. When nobody knows. Well, I was playing no. the other day, and and so one of the guys we were playing with was using a yellow ball, and I'm like, "Well, I don't want to use a yellow ball too." So I switched, and then finally I just gave it. I'm like, "I'm gonna use it anyway. I'll just use I'll use a different yellow ball." Yeah, it, no, you're it so is used to it. Easier to see. Yeah. What about the ones I gave you? Yeah, I still have the sleeve of that. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna use those. That's gonna be my hole in one ball, Mark. <laughs> the blue one. <laughs> yes, let's do it. No. The orange one. Hole yeah. in one. No, talk. that's bullshit. Okay, are you guys ready with movie plots? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we said that everything is just like a like the same some kind of bullshit. Very predictable. Yeah, predictable. Uh, super. So so I said, could you come up with a good movie that you could pitch that someone would actually make? Yes, but not today. So we're going to listen to your your plot. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Ted. I don't have I don't have one because I was relying well, on. Well, mine is I, I, I said everybody have one, Ted. Oh, I'll have one next week. <laughs> we're, not do, we're not doing it next week. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hard. Okay, Mark, did you do your homework? I did. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Can I you please it, go to I the left board? It at home though. <laughs> but I do. So my my your dog ate it. So here's mine, and this isn't something that I just thought of because Matt asked us to. It's something I thought of a long time ago as a joke. So mine is not like, you know, you're talking about mine's not really mine's original, but it's based off a very popular movie. OK, but it's a completely different movie, but using the same characters. If you come up with Batgirl, I am going to be no. very upset. So my story, Super girl, <laughs> spider girl, So my story is about a fighter. OK, his name's Rocky. All right. <sighs> It, it is. It's a take on Rocky. So it's basically, in a nutshell, here's how... I, I won't bore you, Matt, because this is going to go okay. on. But Okay, so my story is, so Rocky, the whole movie, the beginning of the movie, he's going to fight Apollo, right, for the heavy championship. He's, they're giving an average Joe a shot at the at the title, right? Okay, wow. This Okay, so, so far it sounds really good. So, you could probably win an Academy Award for this. So one. he <laughs> signs a contract, and in the contract there's a clause. If somehow, if some way the fight doesn't happen because of Apollo, then he gets like 10 grand. And then it's it's over. Okay. So Rocky trains. He builds up. He's going to fight Apollo. And one week before the fight, Apollo breaks his hand. And it's so bad he's got to retire. So they give him the ten grand, And Rocky never becomes any more famous than he did up to that point. So he decides he decides with the ten grand he's going to go buy that dog, Butkus, from the, from the pet <laughs> store. So he goes to the pet store. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's so funny? Oh this is good. God. It gets really good. I hope so. So he goes to the pet store and and he he buys Butkus and and Adrian's crying and he's like, "What's wrong?" And she's like, well, "The owner of the pet store died and no one wants to take it over, so it's going to close and I'm going to be out of a job." She's like, "He's like, well, how much? How much do they want for the business?" And she's like, 10 grand. Ten thousand dollars. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> so he buy. So I'll buy it and you could you know what you're doing, so you could run it. And she's like, "Well, I don't know how to run a, run run the business, but I could work here." And he's like, "That's fine." So he buys the pet store. Two years later, it goes under. No, no, oh, it gets better. I and hope her so. brother, her brother <laughs> Polly, who's an alcoholic working in the the meat factory, whatever the butcher's factory, right? Oh my God, they make meat out of dogs. He's actually a really smart guy. He's like Barney from The Simpsons. So he he's working there, and he loses his job. And instead of going like a wall or going off the deep end, he checks into rehab, and he gets sober. So he's like in the Betty Ford Clinic this whole time. Well, these guys got the, the pet store. And because Rocky became kind of famous, everyone found out that he owns a store, and it's called like Rocky's Pet Co. or something like that. <laughs> so they were doing really well, and they sold a lot of shit. 
how did he become famous if he only just because the whole buildup? He remember he said, "Oh, the buildup." The whole buildup, okay. like he was training, he was doing all the promos and everything. Everybody knew Rocky so was going to fight Apollo, so he still punches the meat. Yeah, this all happened like one week before the fight was supposed to happen. So okay, it all right before the fight. Is there a culminating? Kind yeah. So of, okay. so then Paulie gets out of out of out of rehab. And he's clean and sober. <laughs> he's clean and sober, and Rocky and Adrian need help. With the pet store, and it turns out he's really smart. He's like a CPA or whatever, so he takes over and helps him with the business. And then, because Mick put all Mick the the trainer, the trainer, he put all of his effort into training Rocky, put all his eggs in one basket, thinking Rocky's going to win. That's right, and Rocky. And I'm going to be, you know, I'll be able to. So he neglected everything else in his training facility, and he just focused on Rocky. Well, his business went out, so he went out of business. So he comes into the pet store one day. And he's like, you know, just putzing around. And Mick's like, yeah, you know, I lost my business. And at the same time, some people come back with some of their dogs. And they're like, hey, Dog listen. fighting. They're listen. Yes. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. So they're like, okay, listen. I see it. But these dogs, you know, they're out of control. I, I don't know how to train them. And Mick's like, I could train your dogs for you. <laughs> I used to be a dog trainer before so I, he's like the, I, he's I like trained the do, He's like a dog whisperer. He's yes. like a Cesar okay. Romero. So, right, so that's what I was going to say. So, so one guy's like, really? And he's like, yeah, watch. Sit and the dog sits and he's like, roll over. The dog rolls over. Is he's Rocky like, doing this too? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Rocky's like, Mick, you know, we got all this influx of money. We sold everything here, and we're and Paulie's gonna help us re, you know, re rebrand and, and all this, and we could use you. You could we can open a drain a training facility in the back. So then they got so much money, they bought out the rest of the businesses and they opened a massive like pet store, and Paulie works there. Running the books, and Adrian's the manager, and Rocky owns it, and Mick is training dogs in the back. This is very thoroughly thought out. Wow. And Rock yeah. becomes a millionaire, and he ends up, they end up selling to uh, Apollo, retires from boxing, and he sees this great business that Rocky built up, and it's like the 70s, right? So it's only mom and pop pet stores everywhere. So Apollo's like, man, this guy's got something here. They got like the training going on, they got a huge facility. And they franchise. He's like, we could make this work. I could buy this from Rock, and I could make it nationwide. What if they just did an arm wrestling match? Holy yeah, no, no. shit. So Apollo to comes to Rock, and he's like, listen, Rock, I want to take this business to the next level. I want every town in America to have one of these like, Rocky's pet coats. It's like Shark Tank. <laughs> Dude, and Apollo convinces him. He's like, yeah, you know, I don't know, Apollo. You know, I like kind of like the little mom and pop thing you got going on. And then he punches him in the face, and he does it. Oh, and then they, they become partners, and Apollo... You know, makes him a multimillionaire, and they, and they they own like the then they started like Petco. Okay, so I, I'm going to be 100 percent honest. At first, that sounded ridiculous. It it sound, but now that I think about it, like you ever read any alternate history stuff? Like like if the if like the the Nazis one won, little no, twist went the other way. If the Nazis yeah. won this, or that's the you know, whole premise if, of my Helen story. Keller, like one little thing yeah, changed. If Helen Keller could see it snowballed right? into something. Yeah. What, what was what was that science science fiction novel? Um, not the butterfly effect, but it's the guy who goes back in time and like he's oh, you know, time he's, travel movie. No, he's, suck. but he steps off the path and he like steps on a butterfly, and because he stepped on that butterfly, the butterfly wasn't eaten by this dinosaur, and it changed the whole. So then, we, so we went back to his present day. Yeah, everything was just a little bit off. Al- alternative history. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? As much as I want to make fun of what you just said, it it's not knowing what we know now. Yeah, that's an interesting take that. What if Honestly, he's doing Netflix like a could Christmas make that. Carol way, where like he has Kinda. a dream that this is how his life could go or something. No, I I like the concept of that. I I like the I like yeah. the thing. We all know Rocky, but what if one thing happened? Yeah, right. Because you always think about that in your life. Like, what if one thing happened? Like, if I'd have took this job, or yeah. you know, if if I didn't spit on that girl's face, or you know, whatever it is that yeah. you you know you did. You know, well, sometimes if I'd have won that one fight in seventh grade, but how so, would my life or, be different? Or, or, what's the what's the, what's the famous the, the famous movie where the kid he drops the fly ball and then his life is shit after that? Like he's in a little league and like he he drops the ball oh, to yeah. lose the game, but then like there's an alternate version where he he catches the ball and then like he marries the best the best girl after that. Yeah. He has a successful life, oh, but yeah, then he drops the ball movie. and something really bad happened. <laughs> yeah, his life was like I in do shambles. think about that. Like my my business business partner ended up moving. Like we didn't know each other at the time. She moved in next door to me. And we just like happened to be kind of like talking over the fence, and, and then come we were, on, I, I'm serious. And we we're you know I, the business ended up growing from there, and it's been 25 years. And that's how you grew Jackie's porn and <laughs> <laughs> I do Jackie's think porn about like was had built I never on that relationship. Had I nice. never met her, yeah, something you know, as simple as that, yeah, yeah. 
Actually, I do have a plot for a movie. Oh, this, is, this is gonna be real quick. Fuck. Okay, no, this is no, 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 no. Awesome. This is no. So this is you're done, man. Okay. Please. So this. Please no, say it's I am over. done. But oh, thank you. This is real quick. So okay, no, Ted just thought of this. There's an good. illiterate kid. He gets on a game show and somehow he's able to answer all these difficult questions. And then when he's in the bathroom, the host goes up to him and, and gives him the answers to the next the next three hardest questions to will to win the, the, the to win the jackpot the grand prize. But the kid doesn't believe him because he thinks the guy's lying to him. I call it Slumdog. Who wants to be a Slumdog billionaire? <laughs> I, I have no idea what's happening. Ted, you can't drink anymore. That I'm was not sl- letting that you was, drink. I'm, I'm sorry. He drink it. He had a half a mix. That was that was Slumdog Millionaire. I'm kidding. I, that's right. that's already been right. done. Uh, Who wants to we, be we a all know that, millionaire? Ted. Oh my god! Well, yeah, you have to think about it for a second. That was like a ruse. He <laughs> no, was trying to. Pull no, I thought over you were going. I thought you were going to like change it up like Mark did. I mean, he Who put want, a lot of effort. Who wants to be a thousandaire? Mark put a lot of effort into his idea. You literally just shit in your pants, and yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I Ted. pissed on your leg and, and said it was raining. All right, Jackie, yeah. do you have one or no? I got nothing. You didn't, did, you, I, he I, didn't not... ask you, did he? No, yeah. I sent it to oh, you. Were you prepared? Okay, okay. I, I, I just yeah. not. I'm not creative in that way. I, I don't know anything about. Yeah. Movie. Plot. Okay, so I kind of, <laughs> I, I kind of did mine as, as like the the promo to the actual movie. So this would be like the commercial you would hear for the movie. <laughs> Is that cool? You guys, are oh, you guys sure. ready? <clears throat> okay. Wait, are you going to do it in the, uh, the movie phone voice, yes, guy? <laughs> yes, in Why a else? world <laughs> where common sense no longer exists, treating people like people is a thing of the past, and decency is a four-letter word. One person will lead the world out of the light and into the darkness. One voice will say anything they are thinking. One person will stand up and make everyone else wish they sat back down. You will cry... And you will cry some more. This Thanksgiving, you will give thanks that this is only a movie. The sequel that no one has been dying to see. Marjorie Taylor Greene goes to Washington. <laughs> Rated F for what the fuck. The apocalypse doesn't sound so bad after all. There it is. Oh, this is a movie where the Marjorie Taylor Greene character wins the president oh, God. of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. And all the things that we said about all the other people all come to fruition. Wow. Yes. The dumbest person on the planet is now the president of the United States. Well, I know there's a lot of dumb people in Washington, so, you know. Uh, oh, she's not, way dumber not, than everyone else. Not many dumber than her. Yeah. She's way dumber than everybody else. How about that for a movie? Well, yeah. Let's just hope it's not reality. <laughs> hey, man. Anything can happen. How much fun would that be? You guys all look so scared right now. Because I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, wouldn't that be awesome? I well, mean, sure, that... it'd be a really shitty America. Yeah. But... I mean, was like cool. Ted's movie better? What was that movie, the, Manch- <laughs> the Manchurian Candidate? And then where... the guy doesn't do it. <laughs> in your face. No, I'm sorry. In my movie, the guy doesn't answer all the questions. He actually gets, he gets the second one wrong, and he only wins like ten dollars. <laughs> the movie's so over. He's a slum he goes, dog. He's a slum dog. He's slum dog. He's a slum dog. He's not a slum dog millionaire. He's just a slum dog. I also have one a Keeper Elf movie. Oh fuck no! Can we? You know what? Could we save that? Can we save that till next time? In the tree, part of the tree. What? Yeah, that's the name of the movie. You have way- in the tree, part of okay, the tree. Okay, so 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 number one, you have way too much free time, and whatever <laughs> I actually have no free time, dude. Whatever drugs you are doing, I would just keep on doing them because you no live way. a great life. And <laughs> no whatever's way. going on in your head, what it's, about it's what like a, Ted Junior? What about the Tootsie Roll Owl when he it says it's three looks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, but it doesn't take him a three; it takes him thirty-three. No, he cheats. <laughs> it it just goes it on and on and on. <laughs> And then when he gets to the center, and when he gets to the center, there's an oxycodone pill. Wait, that's <laughs> your movie? Oh, my God. And it becomes like a rabid bat. <laughs> I'm just making shit up. I don't know. What's happening? You know what? I, you know what? You know what would be a great that, movie? That's what all the Hollywood producers do. They just make shit up, right? They no, sit around. You know what would be a great movie? Ted trying to come up with a, a guy who can't. Come up with a movie. Come up like with a movie. Is, he yeah. just and so every day he's part. Somehow he, he's he's part of this thing, right? And, and every day he walks in, right? And every day people pitch uh, and he ideas. Gets paid money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People people pitch ideas like uh, um, what was that? Forrest Gump and and Ted's like, well, I got one. Uh, how, how about a guy? He lives in a tree and uh, and he get he gets hit by a baseball and then uh, he. he, he an alligator eats him, and this guy's like, "No." no man. The next day, the guy comes in, <laughs> and he pitches like he pitches the regular Rocky movie, right? And he goes, "Oh, that could win an Academy Award." And Tess is like, 
I got one. A uh, uh, um, there's a shoe, and uh, a girl puts it on, and, uh, and wait, it, it's too tight on her. Yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. Hurts. Make him an alligator. No, how about how about yeah. a guy? He turns on every. He turns on all the greatest movie ideas of all time. Gone with the wind. Nope, don't like it. Uh, Forrest Gump. Nope, <laughs> it does the complete opposite. <laughs> like all, Actually, all the greatest, all the greatest movies of Forrest all time. No, Forrest saying, Gump came up. That twice. would be kind of funny. No, but I'm saying all the greatest movie lines of all time. You're as a producer, you're listening. You're like, nah, I don't like that. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's a terrible yeah. idea. Howard Stern? No, I think he's yeah. gonna be a failure. <laughs> Total, complete failure. Yeah. yeah. Ryan Reynolds, ugly. Yeah. He's, the man is the man is unattractive. Let's be honest with you. Yeah. But those okay. are kind of like those stories where actors turn down. Like he does everything roles. wrong. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Every, yeah. And they and, and they regret they regret iconic. it. They regret it. Or or get a movie that's so bad, but you know, okay. For example, like Brad Pitt, George Clooney. Don't they charge like twenty million a movie? Right. I mean, they, you can't get them in any movie. Can you imagine getting all the best actors in one movie, kind of like the the uh, Expendables Wasn't or something? Called New Year's <laughs> Eve. Wasn't there a movie just, called New Year's but it's Eve? A, or but something? it's a terrible movie. They just want to do it for yeah. fun. And they yeah. had like all the famous actors all in there, the and, it, famous, and it was the, yeah. the biggest. No, yeah. that was a cannonball run. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that. No, it was was it? it was like the end of the world or something like that, right? Or this is it. This, this is, is the end. end. Yeah, this is the end. Well, anything that has Seth Rogen in it and James Franco sucks. Yeah. Dirty ass. <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't... Listen, there is nothing funny. I, I, I want to get Seth Rogen on, and I want him to convince me that he's funny. I want to do one wait, wait, Isn't Seth thing. Rogen like Jonah Hill? Like Jonah Hill and Seth Rogen, they're kind of like the same person to yeah. me. They're, no. they're that same guy. You know no, who's I, my I, person Jonah like Hill that? Jonah Hill actually is... has some talent. A little bit. Oh, okay. Tracy bit. Morgan to me. I, I just don't find him funny. Are you Tracy kidding me? Crazy. He really does. I, I he's got... the same thing in everything. Oh, it's like... like... Oh no! Every Wait, interview, a 30 rock. every a 30 yeah, rock, he's he was good. insane. Yeah, so, he's good. Yeah. He's just a small part, but he was but he was insanely good in that. But everything that, else, he everything is everything else. I, he's I, pretty much the same. I exact saw character. Kevin Hart. I saw a stand up, and you know, I was actually I took an edible, and usually what I, I, I laugh at, I, I laugh at everything. I would watch that. I was just like nothing. Yeah, I, I don't find Kevin Hart funny at all. Not at all. Yeah, I don't. I, I, he's, he's got a little screaming thing going on. It's. It, it's a little. It's a little. I, I kind of feel bad. I mean, I feel bad for the people in the audience. You know, I mean, I'm like, I don't know if it's like a laugh track there because I can't imagine somebody laughing in real life to that shit. <laughs> no, they, you know what they they kind of do. Like, I think the things that I think are funny is when somebody says something that you don't expect them to say, right? I mean, that's like Tom Segura when he tells a story. Obviously, it true or not true, whatever it is, you don't expect. I, I, he says things you don't expect him to He's say. He's really funny. If I can already figure out, is is if as Kevin Hart is telling his joke, I can already figure where out exactly go. where it's going to go and how it's going to end up. That's that's not funny because I've already figured it out. You have to like amaze me with something that I never thought you would say. I mean, that has to be that thing. Yeah. If if I already know, like like this is a thing I do. I I watch the last twenty minutes of a movie, okay, and I'll be like. If I can figure out 20 minutes and I can just say, yeah, she's with him, they're, they're going to do that, uh, they're going to do that, uh, press that button, every, you know, somehow he's going to figure Hallmark out how to do movie. that, right? Yeah. <laughs> James Bond is going to get out of these restraints somehow. Right. Yeah. But if I, if I watch the last 15 minutes or 20 minutes and I have no idea what's happening and nothing makes sense, I'll go back and start the movie over. Interesting. It. That is a dis- that's that is crazy. What? I would never do. Aren't those like that. dream those like dream sequence movies where where the guy he like you know it looks like it's real and then it like turns out like he's imagining shit the whole time or you know they just yeah. it doesn't make yeah you know uh, overused man yeah. that was like Lost the prequel yeah the sequel yeah. I loved Lost Wasn't wait that like- Lost that show <laughs> yeah until until the whole thing was like a dream and they were all dead I was like what that's a bullshit cop out man what wasn't the movie like Jacob's Ladder or something where that oh that was a good movie back and forth that With was- Tim Tim Robbins that yeah that I was like Tim crazy Robbins. man. That I like Tim Robbins. Shaw- so, you know, Shawshank Redemption was a good movie. Oh, that was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. but that is one of the best movies of all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a little bit. I mean, you really it's didn't off topic, know. Off topic. But, but the point but is, still, but, but at least it was movie. a. Yeah, I mean, for a prison movie, it was I pretty good. Tim you know? Robbins, you mean r- r- bring yeah. up Shawshank? Yeah, it was, well, it was, was it he in movie. Shawshank? He was in Shawshank. Yeah, I know, but Jacob's Ladder is a completely different movie. We're talking about movies oh, that like, I've never seen. Jacob's Ladder. I thought we were just talking about Tim Robbins and his awesome acting career. Yeah, no, I love him. Okay, so let me. I love this story, and and you you're gonna see why. Andy okay. Fram. <laughs> I, need, I had to go to prison to learn how to break the laws. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, you guys know Mike Pence is out with all the Trump guys, right? Like, they hate right. him. Trump supporters hate Mike Pence. Yeah. And, guys, he, and, he, and he's running for president. And and yeah. yet somehow, Ted, I mean, he's got to know he's not going to win the nomination. Ted, I bet you you get more votes for president than Mike Pence does. You know, honestly, if Trump was smart, he'd get that guy Tim Scott as his vice president. I, I, That's smart. I, I, I don't buy that. If he's but, smart. But, okay. So, I guess all over social media, um, people, Trump supporters are, are like, they want Mike Pence dead. 
they're they're getting that crazy. Well, well, like they, well they, they said well, well during the was. January sixth, yeah. right? That wasn't there the the the, 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 the scream out was like, hey, hang Mike Pence because yeah. he wouldn't he wouldn't support the right. overturning right. the election. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So so I guess I guess as, as Trump was going out just recently on on his social media, everybody's getting on there and literally wishing he was dead. Okay, and they're literally going on record, and, that, and that's not against the law, the, by the way, to wish someone was dead. <laughs> I mean, if you're the former vice president, I don't think. I mean, well, it, it, definitely it's, keeping an eye on it's, something it's, like that. Yeah, I mean, you, you get on a list. Yeah, right. I mean, if yeah. you if you start saying I want him dead yeah, yeah. and all this kind well, of stuff, well, they just killed. The FBI just killed don't somebody. Get us on the list. The FBI. I don't. No, no, no. The, no. the FBI just. I killed. love Mike Pence. I want him to live as long as he can because I want to hear him say uh, one more. Now you're time. on the other list. No, I want him to hear it say one more time. Uh, I, yeah, I can't go in a room with that. Right, there's two lists. Right. I'm not allowed to be in a room with. A woman by myself. You know, when someone's oozing that much goodness, I'm, I'm pretty much a serial. When, 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 when someone's oozing, oozing that much goodness, you know he's wearing women's underwear, right? Because <laughs> you, know yeah. you, know, oh, you know he's wearing. He's probably wearing a negligee. That would a be a thong or some booty shorts. That would be he's good. Got, that would be a good. He thing. probably puts glitter on himself at night. I mean, you know, it's, it's probably some Buffalo Bill show. <laughs> Ooh, here's <laughs> Ted's movie. Oh boy, Ted. Now that's the no, movie. That's See, the movie. that's the movie I want to watch the last 15 minutes and go, "What the fuck is happening Brilliant. here?" I need to turn on it from the beginning. Remember the Guinness one, six pack. Brilliant. All right, so so they do a news story about the fact that all these people want him dead. Okay, so it's on all these different things. Okay, and here's the quote. And this is kind of creepy. Here's the quote exactly as it's written. A guy writes, uh, a guy says, they interview him, and they, they're actually, in, or he's, no, I'm sorry, he does a Twitter post, and this is what he writes. An X post. Uh, I, yeah, an X post. <laughs> I want to see him hanging. I want to see his toes dangling. And now, now this is a reporter who says, I found this quote, right? And he says, and, and then they write, she writes down, this, the, the woman who wrote it, says, um, written by... And this is this is the Twitter handle that they wrote down in the story. Big Mike's hairy dong. <laughs> <laughs> they, they used a quote about killing Mike Pence and gave him credit as his Twitter handle, X handle, Big Mike's hairy dong. <laughs> now, I'm not following him. I, I, I <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's I, not even recommended to me. Listen, <laughs> if if this is the the the, the story you have to write. And, and you're getting a quote yeah. from a guy who it goes the other direction, moniker, right? You nix that story. Is, yeah, know, is yeah. Big Mike's hairy yeah. dong? I don't feel like you have any real. There's no credibility. Like, right? Yeah, there's, there's like, zero this credibility because like, I don't feel like anybody who's Baba big, Booey, Baba big, Booey. Yeah, is <laughs> Big Mike's hairy dong is actually going to kill anybody? You know, you know what? I don't. I don't think he well, really wants that. It's like if you went to like remember when you go to like a bathroom and there's like the the marker saying uh, Big Mike's hairy dong was here. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, that's and then, exactly and then I would go and then I would go in the bathroom after and say yo. Big Mike's hairy dog can go eat a dick. <laughs> just in case he comes back and sees it, you know? Just yeah. so like, you know. I, I just, it, it seemed, it seemed so. That's pretty funny, though, that it, it got out there. that, that they, they would use that, yeah. that quote that... and put it on, not to say like a Twitter user or whatever user. She specifically quoted Big Mike's hairy dog. Now, he's a reliable source. <laughs> he is he's a very reliable source because I mean I figure there's probably only one guy in the whole world who has that moniker. I mean right? he, pr- he probably just he just had a nice meth- methamphetamine sandwich. <laughs> probably had a couple right. of strolls, a couple of strolls. These are probably <laughs> college Think kids about how proud out there he is. trying to get that name. Think about how proud he is right domain. now. That story went out to every major newspaper online thing. Every I'm going to GoDaddy right now doing that website. Big w- Mike's w- Harry Dong. Big Mike's Harry Dong. <laughs> <laughs> dot com, dot net, all and dot org, or, or, no, dot edu, dot gov. <laughs> dot edu. Yeah, dot here's, gov. here's the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb, and this is like I'm surprised journalists don't, don't know write this. about your dong. No, the rule, the rule of thumb is this: <laughs> don't don't give oxygen, don't don't give oxygen to crazy people. When you give them oxygen, which means that don't reply to them, don't acknowledge them, because like when you acknowledge them, that's like catnip to them. You know, then they yeah, that, like, now, don't now, give oxygen now, to fire. Now you've given them a platform. You've just you've just made this guy famous, right? Just yeah. Because you know this That's is the why best. They don't show the Yahoo's that run on the field anymore. The best story, anymore. the best story you can come up with. Yeah. So congratulations, you just made this like you know minor lunatic wherever yeah. he's at. You know. Well, it kind of makes you think. It kind of makes you think. It's the local right. news, right? Does, uh, no, this went out to everywhere. This was a this was a national news story. This yeah. was a national news story, and I just think, are there really people who want Mike Pence dead, or was there like three people? And one of them, yeah. one of them was Big Mike's Harry Dog. Mike, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike Pence is so insignificant. Yeah, you know, it, it's just comical that anybody would waste any time even thinking no, about the guy. No, but Ted, there's a whole contingency of people, and by whole, I mean maybe like twenty thousand people in the whole universe that believe that Fully Trump like that. lost because he didn't certify the right. that yeah. he didn't yeah. like, yeah, yeah. That he didn't step in and 
you know, know the whole thing no, I, and say, I, okay, he's still president. Right. They think they're blaming him for the 2020 results. Right. But like I said, you're always going to get that certain subsection of the people who are very sus- impressionable, susceptible to whatever they're being told. And that's and if you just go out through human history, you could see that, like, if you get a charismatic figure, you know, whether it's Trump or whether it's Hitler, I'm not comparing Trump to Hitler, but the point is anytime you get a charismatic figure in history, you're going to have a cer- certain section of the population that's vulnerable and susceptible to whatever they're going to say. And it's like I said, it's just history repeats itself, right? That's, that's all it is. This is one time that you brought up Hitler that I would agree with what you're saying. Yeah, and I'm not comparing yeah. Trump to Hitler, but, but the point is I'm just saying, like, he, he, he well, came at a time— he, there was a vacuum in time when Germany just lost World War One, and the, and the people were kind of you know d- down and out, and he kind of you know gave them national pride and and he started off okay until he went crazy of course but yeah but that's that's how he came to power you know in a nutshell yeah so 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 next president of the United States is big big Mike big Mike <laughs> <laughs> well maybe not what, what do we what do we know his about vice Mike? president well, we, is Harry Don two things I was just gonna say is yeah. it actually like who's who's the president then big Mike or big Mike's yeah. Harry Dumb, yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> well, have, well, have you seen him in the room this at the same time? Have you, have you, have you seen him in the room at the same no, time? Listen, when you can get on a podcast and your sister <laughs> repeatedly says the phrase "Big Mike's hairy dong," I, I, I'm 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 the happiest person in the whole wide world. <laughs> yeah. So I was reading this. So I was reading this the other day. I think he goes to Howard Street. <laughs> Big Mike? Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't or, know. I was reading this the other day. So so I guess Gavin Newsom, who's the governor of California, is going to debate Ron Santis, who's obviously the governor of Florida. And people are like, why are they doing that? I said, well, you know why they're doing that, you dumbasses, is because it's a dry run practice for the next presidential cycle. Wait a minute. I asked you why are they doing that. Oh, not you. I wasn't you didn't call to me you. a dumbass. No. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But I'm saying, yeah, they're, they're pra- it's practice. Just like you practice. You know, so the reason- Talk about the two extremes. Yeah. But the point is, the reason they're debating them, each other now- they know they're not going to win the they're not going to win the respective nomination, but the point is they're looking in the future. So it's kind of a little they're getting a little practice well, Chris, on the debate. Christie's stage. ahead you know of them in the polls now. Yeah. You know what? I got bad news for both those guys. You know what? I see a future. Neither one of them are in it. Well, I mean, they're young. I mean, DeSantis is only forty four. I, I, I think I don't, I don't know how old Newsom is, but I mean, you, you know, I mean, the point the, is the two he, extremes that they but represent if, but if are, are the exact opposite of what ninety nine percent of what America wants. Those yeah. two extremes. Yeah. No one really, really wants. It's what America wants. No, no. America. America has Not no America. interest America. in either one of those two lunatics. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm saying America. America. I, I, I get that. Yeah. You, that's you what kind America of like a, That's what kind America of like a hillbilly. Wants. Yeah. Mer- America. Yeah, that's what they're called. Oh, so we went we went out of town this weekend. <laughs> what the fuck? No, you just said hillbilly. We went out of town this weekend. I'm not going to mention what state we went to. We're driving on a back road. And there's this fucking house, man, with a front porch and three flags, okay? One was a big Trump flag, mm-hmm. okay? Another one was a big, said, America on it. <laughs> and the other one was an American flag that was upside down. Was it the- In between them. Wow. So Trump, America, and then the American flag upside down. Does that mean something? I, they were Obviously, they hate America and love Trump. No, but- But I, mean, I thought- Wait. Okay. Does it doesn't upside down? Uh, well, everybody, I, I, everybody like hates America now. These you know Trump followers, they all hate the America that we're living in now, and he's going to make it better. Oh, I see. Okay. But does it Trump up- said it too? Trump said, "I wish I didn't. I, I'd rather live in the south of France." Well, he should move there. Or they won't have him there. Are you kidding me? Oh, it signifies disagreement. With upside down American flag. <laughs> upside down American flag signifies disagreement. <laughs> Yeah, since the 2016 election, the but you upside can't down take a knee. is transformed you can't into can't take a, a knee to, to show your disagreement oh, with, you know with what? policy. If you take a knee, you're ostracized, but you, you can fucking hang a flag upside down. It's so it, it, uh, An upside down American flag used to symbol physical danger. Yeah, so if you were in trouble, you would flip your oh, flag so upside they're, down. They're, now oh, they're yeah. using it for their kind of like own cause. Kind of like an SOS, yeah. yeah. I mean, back in the day. They're using it for their own Yeah, so how is that allowed and taking a knee isn't? It's both showing that you're unhappy with things that are going on. Right, that's their way of saying something, and I don't know. Whatever. I I don't understand any of it. All right, let's get on to something happy. What do you got here, Matt? Okay, last thing. Be kind, rewind. No, you guys ready for happy talk? We can do that. Okay, you guys remember we talked about Pat Sajak and Vanna White um, how much they made for Wheel of yeah, Fortune? Yeah, two of the yeah. most overpaid people for doing the least amount of work. They're yeah, not. They're I, not. Oh man, they're not. Oh, I'm, nobody's overpaid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and top anything you think actually happens. Okay, so something <laughs> very big happened yesterday. Vanna White missed a show for the first time in over three decades. Wow, that's over thirty years over too. a contract <laughs> dispute. 
Oh. So she is upset, okay? Um, for the last 18 years, she has made $3 million a year pointing at rectangles. That is unacceptable. Okay. Well, she no, 18 make- years ago, she had to touch them. No, she had to yeah. turn Starting 18 years ago. She no, no. Turn Starting 18 years ago. Uh, it was touch screen? It was just touch point. She just pointed. Actually, she just pointed. I think th- yeah. they just. They do it. Turned it on. Oh. She yeah. just she walked over. She literally just walks pointed. over and points at a rectangle. Mm. And she makes three million bucks a year. And I think I'll it's a it. square, not a rectangle. I'll, no, it's a, it's a rectangle. <laughs> no, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. The I know letters that. are It's an elongated yeah. rectangle. Welcome back to school, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think of it. Think of it. Like, it's like long. Yeah, explain, oh. explain to him how you it's explain longer to me. Yeah. than it is wider. <laughs> right. It's a rectangle. A rec- a rec- an rectangle. An rectangle. It's not, yeah. a, it's not yeah. a quadrilateral, Mark, or an octagon. Uh, I rectangle. think it actually is a quadrilateral. Two Before, sides are longer than the other two sides. Well, no, it's two sets of so. equal sides. That's a quadrilateral. So, yes. Technically, a rectangle is a quadrilateral. Welcome to geometry talk. <laughs> okay. I even, love math even, talk. Yeah, even this bullshit's better than chess talk. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to top this. This woman works, are you ready? Four days a month. Well, four days a month, not four days a week. A year. Four days a month. She works six hours a day, which is a long day. Four days a month. I'll take that job. Yeah, yeah. four days a month. That's so 60. they filmed. I know they mm-hmm. filmed like four or five episodes. Six. I think they filmed six episodes a day. Okay. Okay. She makes sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars a day. Okay. Now Pat Sajak makes, I believe, five times that, or did yeah. until he, now. I guess Ryan Seacrest is going to be yeah, in there after the first and or something. Now of she is she wants more money and she is going to uh, not be part of this until good she gets a raise. <laughs> so they'll just bring in someone younger and hotter and yeah. yeah why, why would they keep her? Why, why would they not, like get rid of her along with Pat Sajak because they're kind of a tandem? So that would Maybe be kind Megan of weird. She is going. She's it. not sticking around. That would be weird. But that point. would be weird keeping like Ryan Seacrest and her because she's kind of a relic from the past. And, yeah. you know, wouldn't you get someone, like, like I said, in Meghan their 20s? Markle. Yeah, not, well, not her, but, like, just someone in their <laughs> 20s, you know, like, who... I don't know. Is, you know. is, is Megan Markle smart enough to point at stuff? Well, there was I, she it, could what, be a genius, well, no, uh, was this, the way. Wasn't she know. on that show with the suitcases? Like, she was one of the models. Suits. The su- oh, No, not oh. the suitcases. No, where, where oh. you open the suitcase, what? you open the suitcase. Oh, what, Howie like, Mandel? The, yeah, the uh, Howie Mandel the, show. Oh, yeah, she was one of them. Yeah. Megan Markle was? Yeah, she was, like, one of the suitcase One of the suitcase Yeah, yeah. Suitcase ladies. Was she really? Yeah. I, I don't know that. I think I watch that show every once in a while. I, I mean, I, 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 I like the show. I like the show. Deal, deal, deal. Yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so basically, they no open yep. the suitcase, and it's like if it's a hundred dollars, that's good because that was that means a good show. The high value deal ones no there. Deal. Yeah, deal or no deal. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. good because Howie Mandel's funny. Yeah, yeah, he's funny. Germaphobe. He's got a little OCD, obviously. You know that a lot of OCD. He's a germaphobe. Yeah. So you can't tell the guys got OCD just by. No, I didn't say OCD. He's a germaphobe. Yeah, well, that's that's OCD. I don't know. I don't know what that. I mean, what? He doesn't like to be touched? No, he doesn't. He won't shake. He's a germaphobe. He's afraid of germs. Like, yeah, he's he doesn't like, shake he's, hands. He, he's he hypersensitive. Yeah, he's a hypersensitive. So it's just, he's a germaphobe. He, yeah, okay. he doesn't want to touch things in the airport. Right. Like He so, talks, he he doesn't, talks yeah. I don't want to touch anything it. in the airport. The he airport talks is very gross. freely about it. I didn't know. Yeah, but but this is this is 20 years ago now. The story I'm going to tell you. A friend of mine, his last name is Mandel as well. <sighs> and he was in a restaurant. And Howie Mandel was in the restaurant, and he's like, he he goes to his wife, and he's like, Marianne, I got to go fucking say hi to him. We have the same last name. So he goes up, and he's sitting at the table, and my buddy goes over, and he introduces himself, and he's like, my name is, you know, so-and-so Mandel, and he's like, follow. And he goes, he reaches out to shake his hand, (laughs) and he, like, Howie Mandel is, like, like, sitting there, like, you know, kind of sticks up a hand and waves to him. Yeah. And re- my buddy was like, oh, he's like, okay. And then he t- made small talk and he's like, okay, yeah, nice to meet you. And he goes back to the table and he's like, man, what a dick. Like he wouldn't even shake my hand. And he was like weirded out. I kept trying to shake his hand and he, he was like backing off and all this other stuff and like this. And he's like, and then right, he was telling us the story, my buddy. And, and someone's like, dude, he's a germaphobe, but he won't shake your hand. So yeah. he, he was actually this- assaulting Howie Mandel. No. But he yeah. went up to him at the dinner table and kind of like. Oh, God, that's why I'm so glad. Listen, I want to be famous, and I know the show's going to take off, and we're going to be <laughs> fucking huge. But you know what? Can I just say everybody out there, don't don't bother me. If, if I'm with my friends or I look like I'm drunk. Oh, They'll be on gonna, Howard Street. In. Hey, yeah. <laughs> if I'm with, I'm, if, if, if that, that doesn't apply if I'm at the table with them. What? Come on over. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah talk over. to Mark. Talk to Mark. Over, just yeah. pretend like I'm not there. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Oh, he'll, yeah, he'll be yeah, your wingman. I'm, he'll I'm, take yeah. care of you. I'm, t- I'm going to big time you. 
right? I, 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 mean, I, check, I, I might be a piece of shit now, I'll, but I'll I'm really going to be a piece of shit once, t- once I'm famous. I mean, I'll, I'll Ted will hug you. I'd hug you. Take, I'll say take pictures with you. <laughs> Ted's well, like the mascot of the could show. Did you just see Ted? Ted just randomly. We're not even like, like Ted. Uh, um, you know, we we finally hit kind of the big time. You know, we're we're uh, partially famous, and Ted partially. just starts walking up to every every hot chick and just, oh, you know, I'm Ted. <laughs> uh, I'm Ted from the Real Three It Is podcast. You want to take a selfie yeah. with me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know you want this. Yeah. Now, now, right. the, now the opposite of that is this. Like, like I think I mentioned this on several shows. Like, if I saw so, if I assuming I even recognize someone who was famous, yeah, like I said. As a grown man, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not going to give accolades to another grown man, even if he's good at something. I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not going to go so out of my way to say. Only men are famous. What's that? Only men are famous, or women, or just anybody. Oh, Yo, I right. mean, just want to make yeah, sure. I'm just saying, like, they, they don't peak. They don't. <laughs> he only peak, admires. They don't. Famous they don't men. peak. Okay. They don't peak my interest enough where I'd actually go out of my way to like approach them to like like ingratiate myself and say hi to them. Because like, you, know, you know why? Because I don't give a shit. Ted is so New shit. York, man. You're so New York, dude. You need to move to New York. Yeah. I just don't give hey, a shit. Who's this I'm fucking guy? I'll never this fucking guy thinks person. he's better than yeah. me. I mean, Fuck Leo yeah. DiCaprio. No, I mean, like, like if I saw like who, who's like like a super recognizable like okay like uh, Brad Pitt. We someone saw Brad Pitt. Fuck that everyone guy. Would, everyone lose their shit, right? I it's would. Brad Pitt or Tom Brady or something. Whatever. I would. I would try to lick Brad Pitt. <laughs> I would. Just he's so attractive. Would I, you, re- I remember yeah, but, when we were at U of I, I saw Lovey Smith in the. Um, you know, eaten downstairs when he just became the U of I coach. Oh yeah, at the hotel. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm texting Stephen, like, you got to come down. I mean, I'm not going to take a picture of him or anything, but it seemed really. If exciting. anything, I would like, I would like, heck, I would like heckle him. A I moderately mean, yeah. successful, <laughs> a moderately successful professional coach and a terrible college coach. Yeah. Well, he's right here. He, yeah. That was his first year. He hadn't started yet. Yeah. And he would grow to be. So we thought he was going to be <laughs> mildly successful. Yeah. In the least. But I would never way. go talk to him. I would yeah. just. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, I, like, I don't really like care. you know, it's funny, like, like someone like Mike Ditka, he seems like he'd be a real dick in person, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, he's so crotchety and, you no, know. No, he's actually the most approachable person. Okay, but but it'd just be funny, you know, because I, I think he's, he's what a, would you, what would he's you go in his say, restaurant and yeah, let everybody I, come I, up? Yeah, what am I going to say to Mike Ditka? I'm like, oh, hey, okay, you, I heard you played uh, f- a tight end back in the 1950s, 20 years before I was born. Um, yeah. What else do you want to talk about, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> no, I went to his restaurant. You're, you're, he was there. We all went up and said hi. I went to, I went to, Dick, I went to Ditka's. And, uh, yeah, yeah, but it, dude, it, seems, coach, it seems like man. a waste I, of time. A, it seems like to a, say like, hello to like somebody I idolize as a kid. It's not a waste of time. Well, if you he comes around, though, if he's Dicka, in the restaurant. The man who traded are you what, 11 draft picks for Ricky for, Williams. For Ricky, <laughs> Ricky <laughs> Williams. Ricky Williams never played on the Bears. No, when no, he was with the Saints. I know. Yeah, I idolized him when I was a kid with the Bears. Ditka, are you fucking kidding me? What city did you grow up in? No, I'm just saying that, that was like Ditka was like right, but like, the, I, I mean what? that whole thing no. about the, no, the but super that's, fans was not made up. That's how we. No, all but that's my point. Least. Even if I, I even if I idolized someone like, as I was a kid, too, back I was, then. but I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, there's like, no value. Right. Now. So as a kid, let's just say I idolized whomever, whether it's an athlete or an actor, and then as an adult, I saw them. I wouldn't be like, oh, I remember you when I was 12, and it was great. Like it's like you know, Harris, like Harrison Ford. Hey, when you were in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, can I can I have a hug? You know, Wait, I mean? he's still Ted. He's still. <laughs> oh, he's still Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Ark. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, when you hit that guy with your cane in the last movie, <laughs> oh man, then you just you just went incontinent, and the guy slipped <laughs> in your shit, and you you got the I don't know whatever it is, the dial of destiny, whatever it was. Man, that he was had a awesome. diaper on. The don't di- worry about <laughs> it. Yeah, more, more like the dialysis of destiny. <laughs> he's wearing. Oops, I. Crap my pants. Oops, I crap my pants. Oh. <laughs> no one can stop this 75 year old man from. Yeah. Wow, he's so slow. He's like, how much like slower Rambo. Can I run? I'm going to go see that movie, though. Rambo? No. The Dial the of new, Destiny? The new, no way. The new I, Raiders of the Lost yeah. You know what? Totally. I, I feel yeah, like Joe, I will Jones. never, yeah. ever, ever watch that movie. I'd almost want to see Anybody see Barbie? I, I, no, I never saw uh, Barbie. My son went and saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody says it's like, it's all about women empowerment, I guess. Okay. Yeah, they make, they make the dudes yet, out but... to be stupid, which I don't yeah. know. I, which is probably true. I sit here once a week, so it's not anything it's I haven't seen. Well, women are smart. Ryan, Ryan Gosling sings a song like, oh. I, I'm Can... I'm just a Ken. In another world, I would be a 10. Dude. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> he, listen, I will tell you right now, he is hot. Oh, my God. God, he's attractive. You gotta name Gee your kid Ryan. Whiz. Well, obviously you're 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 hiring someone to play Barbie and Ken, so you're gonna hire the most ridiculously two good looking people, right? You're not gonna hire like uh, Roseanne Barr to play Barbie, are you? Oh, <laughs> hey now, <laughs> who knows who knows what she would say after some ambient? So it'd be. Yeah, Did you ever yeah. see the movie Behind the Pines? <laughs> Behind yeah. the Pines. Yeah, no. I saw that movie. He's in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, he's like a, a like a minor. Film. He's like a minor thief back in the day, or you know. It's, so it's good, is yeah. um. I'll, so I'll, is um. Listen, whatever. Yeah. I will watch it, yeah. dude. I'm telling you right now, it. that movie is like. That's a good fucking movie
Christian Bale, like uh, Ryan Gosling it? and Ryan <sighs> Reynolds. Christian it is, Bale. It's getting to that oh, point. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it's I, getting I to that point where it could be Judd, Ryan Judd Gosling. Nelson or something. No. Or what look at these, look at these two. <laughs> They're just ignoring it. It's, you, you guys make me sick. Ryan Reynolds like, or Ryan Gosling? We can't talk about how hot Ryan Reynolds is and how hot Ryan Gosling is and the concept. You make me angry. I actually got those two confused because I got both them. I would slap you. You know what? You ever say that again? Damn you, Ted. Damn one you. sells Matt his cell phone, vodka. What else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One sells and me one my doesn't. one sells me my cell phone, and the other one I look at on my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? that your, which one's your, which one's your screensaver or your wallpaper? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to no answer that question. Ryan. Yes. <laughs> Ryan. No comment. All right. Uh, let's. Jeez. I can, it's, uh, my buddy always says he goes. He's, can you spend one show? And not talk about hot guys. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I guess if there are no hot guys, maybe we're good. I don't know. What the hell is that? That's that's my dog trying to get downstairs. <laughs> yeah, that is my dog desperately Aww. trying to get downstairs. Yeah, but we can't let her downstairs me. because what does she do when she gets downstairs? Socks just bothers me. She, she takes a shit in the base. Yeah, that's she's just mar- it's called marking the territory. <laughs> Ted, this whole place is my territory, and I barely shit in half the rooms. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right, let's put this thing to bed, Jackie. I'm going to let you go first. Last thoughts. Uh, I, I, I feel like Mark. <laughs> last thoughts. I, like Mark's gonna give, I hate I this think part Mark's, of the Mark's show. Gonna give, <laughs> Mark, why don't you give Jackie? I think we should get rid of this Mark. Part why don't you give show. Jackie her last thoughts? Yes, could you <laughs> yeah. give me my last? thoughts? I'm gonna read you your last rights. <laughs> oh, yeah. see, that's where I want this to go. I want it to be violence, <laughs> violence well, I, and hate. Okay, I'll say. I I actually kind of liked the way uh, Ted's tip went today when we all kind of got together and and decided on an actual tip. <laughs> as opposed to the shit Ted Ted's said. writing it down. Ted's <laughs> writing it down. Uh, every time he writes Jackie this down, the pad goes agreed. on the paper. <laughs> yeah. The pad is just, the paper gets thrown away. Like it kind I of evolved it into an actual Matt good throws tip. everything you write no. away. Yeah. There what, it is. what is that? Those are yeah. three circles. I, I feel like, yeah, I do feel like I Abigail has some, <laughs> some, some chances to, to actually do this. I thought Matt was kidding when you said that he would draw that. <laughs> yes, he, he actually just, does. He just, he, he, I'm yeah. making up for lost time. That's why we That's why we don't allow Ted to have pens <laughs> once, the, once the show starts. Like, here's the thing so we don't... You, we, we told Ted he can't drink, and he's drinking. Right. We take Ted's pens away, he's got pens. I, I feel <laughs> like I've lost complete and total positive <laughs> yeah. control over what's happening. All right, Ted, you are next. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. You're running the show, man. Listen, I enjoyed this lighthearted, whimsical banter we had tonight. I was mildly amused Stop. by the whole concept. Wait, did you like the whole show or just parts he's, of it like last week? I was, I, was mild, I was mildly amused by I liked by, the parts yeah. where I talked and the parts where Matt and Mark talked and Jackie were stupid. I just wanted to let At you know At some that. point, Ted's going to whisper. Yeah. Yeah. Now we save that for a special occasion. So. Oh. No. <laughs> what? So I'm looking forward to next week's tip, whoever it might be. I'm assuming it's not going to be Abigail, since Abigail ha- has her she, tip. She, she, yeah, she, she just gets the one, Ted. I mean, yeah. Unless she's got other issues now, that she we, wants to let us know about. Now, if we got back-to-back about. tips from the same person, that would be kind of weird. No, no, one's, ever, <laughs> no one's ever sent two th- I mean, not that I've seen. No one's ever sent two okay. things. Yeah. Right. No, no one's ever sent that. Okay, Mark, last thoughts. My last thoughts are we were doing the plots, and we didn't come up with movie titles, though. You didn't have a title to your film. Hmm. Was Did it you? Marjor- Marjorie Goes to... To Washington? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was yours, Mark? I, I don't have one. Whoa. Rocky goes to okay. Rocky's Petco. No. All right, so so let's put it out there. <laughs> well, so so for our listeners, if you can yeah, if you can come up with uh well no, Rocky was the 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 boxing part of it. Right. Okay. So if you can come up with uh, send us whatever you can come up with for Mark's uh, still alternative Rocky, history. Though. No. It can't be All Rocky. All right. Yeah, no. I mean well, it's it's, it's gotta be like some kind of play on Rocky. Right. Yeah. Oh, look, he's already thinking. Oh man, see, this is why we got it. This is why we got to get video because you guys could actually used to be like, "Oh, this is where Mark was thinking." It's like, yeah, I never seen that before. It's yeah. really cool, man. There's a light bulb that popped up above my head. Well, your yeah. eyes close a little bit, and you're like, "Hmm." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, you do do that when you start. Yeah, when you start really thinking, you get you get kind of quiet. You yeah. look like uh, uh, you look like you're farting. Oh, I thought you were high. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get high. Yeah. I'm high on life because today. I got high. Uh-huh. Yeah, my, my 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 movie got no title because I got high. Because I got high. Because or yeah, or yeah, gas. I'm not sure which one. So it looked like I actually looked like he was gonna fart. I wasn't sure if he was well, thinking don't or fart. Don't when babies when they fart they they have that inv- they're like oh the baby's smiling but they're not really smiling they because they have gas right there so they look like they're they're smiling at you but they're really not. Oh. I'm not a baby, mom, I'm not a baby Ted, expert. Ted, you your know. mom was so mean to you. Is that what she told you? <laughs> yeah, we thought she was wait. a smart boy, but she was just a farter. Wait, are you saying my mom talked to me? That's that's. 
Did she take you to like some movie or something? She, I, oh, she saw. No. Oh, she took me to a few movies. No, a few movies. no, we're not doing that. No, she sorry. dropped them off. She didn't take them. Sorry. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it later. No, she did take him, and then she came back and picked him up. Right. I mean, yeah. that's you know, that's mother of the year. That's the why car didn't even, the car slowed down, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't stop. Sh- Just slow down. <laughs> Mom, mom, are you going to? The line st- starts here. <laughs> are you, are you going to stop this time? Are you, are you, son, are you going to stop being weak? Are you going to stop yeah. farting? You're going to stop farting? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> hey, you start thinking and stop farting. I stop, I stop the car. All right. Um, listen, I, I, I'm glad we could all get together and celebrate National Lemon Meringue Pie Day. Oh, I That's not the only day that. it is. There's multiple things on every day. Oh, there's multiple things. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's you also looked it up. Stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. Is there a better day? No, I mean, no, that's just, probably a good one to pick. Yeah. I just didn't okay. realize you guys didn't like lemon meringue pie. I thought I was the only mm. person to just meringue is. No, gross. no, no. What I mean, Jack, I is like, like today's meringue. today's lemon meringue pie day national, but it's also like National Fried Chicken Day or National. Oh, I like, like fried chicken. Every day is like yeah. it's there's, not. There's multiple. If things it was on National one day. Fried Chicken Day, we'd be talking yeah. about that. You know? I just don't really understand meringue. It's just like it's I, it's, it's just gross. It's just whipped whipped uh, sugar yeah. or meringue. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. I, you I, could put meringue on any pie, but it's a lemon meringue pie. It's an acquired taste, I'm sure. Is it? Oh wait, are you saying it could be like a lime meringue pie? Yeah, meringue is. Well, how, about, the, how uh, about a rhubarb pie? <laughs> I actually I like, actually, rhubarb, I like pie. rhubarb pie. Too. I like yeah. rhubarb. What is a rhubarb? Yeah. I like uh, rhubarb wine uh, too. It's a uh, vegetable. Yeah, yeah, oh. rhubarb is a vegetable. Yeah. 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 yeah, I actually oh. ended up buying like three bottles of rhubarb wine because I told a woman we were at some random winery. And I'm like, rhubarb wine sounds gross. I had rhubarb pie at um, yeah. uh, in Minnesota. Yeah, and I challenged her. I challenged her, and I said, I said, if this is gross, I'm not paying for my the other wines we bought. She's like, okay. And she's like, if it is good, you got to buy three, three bottles. Ooh, and you did. Wow, yeah, it was good. You must have really I, liked it. it. But it was good. I mean, it's hard when somebody makes that cha- when you when you say I'm not going to pay for the other stuff. I bought like four bottles of wine. Like she she literally is going to give me four bottles of wine, and all I had to do was be honest. And for the first time in my life, I was honest. I said I like rhubarb wow. wine. Yeah, so I. All right. Yeah, I bought like three bottles. Yeah, we still got kicked out. I started a fight. <laughs> and yeah, it was kind of weird. Yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, squash is better than rhubarb, and there's a whole thing, and it was really uh, kind of ugly. But yeah, um, Ted, next time you say you have a story, by the way, and this is my very real final last thought. The next time you say you have a story, and I hold off, and then I visit it the next week. You better make up some real good shit. Just make something up, dude. Yeah, because that Alabama story yeah. was possibly. No, you know what? That was worse than anything I've ever heard in my life. It got well, better, though. The shuffleboard part was better. But, but the how, first part was horrible. But how, how do you know? I, I mean, shuffleboard. That wasn't even Birmingham. But you but know what? Funny thing. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> as Birmingham. far as you know, that's not the real story. All right. Yeah, that we'll whatever. revisit some and, other uh, we'll yeah. see you guys That's next it. week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. As, far, as, far as, as far as you know. Mark, thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, everybody, we will see you next week. And Ted will tell a story about his next famous and famous state that he has visited. Have a good one. And we'll catch you next time.